I'm sorry I'm late. Check on in. Let me know you can see me. I'm going to put my volume up because I don't know if you can see me. I do apologize for being late. Hello. I have that lipstick on. <laughs> I'm sorry. I have lipstick on my lips, on my teeth. Hello, hello. Can everyone see me? Let me know. Put a 13 if you can see me. I do apologize for being late. So check on it. The lights are already flickering. Come on in. Peace, peace, peace. Hey, everyone. Peace to the east, west, north, and south. This is Fleuroon coming to you today with a long-awaited message. So check on in. Bonsoir. Boy noche. Buenas noches. I wish I could say it in like a couple more languages. Then it would be really efficient. Can you hear me, everybody? Hello. So I'm sorry. Uh, it is, uh, you know, my little one's birthday time. So it took me a little while to get to you guys. So, and you'd be proud of me because guess what, y'all? Fleurune has notes today. You know, I'm giving a message. And if some of you remember the message I got from Brazil, and I want to give a shout out first to a channel and an amazing woman, Dean, who requested this transcribing of the messages I had gotten in March. And I wanna thank Lisa, big up to Lisa, who actually assisted with <laughs> the remembrance that I had these messages. I hadn't transcribed yet. And let me give a, I gotta give a shout out to a couple people, cause you know what I'm saying? Fleur bruin has been on the block for a while. Hey, da, 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 da. I'm still, I'm still Delhi from the block. So I've been on the block a little bit. I got to give shout outs and much props to those who assisted and uh, reminding me of these messages. So let me give a shout out to the first, the channel that actually asked for this transcribing. And this is um, to walk with the ancestors, Dean. She's amazing. Um, check out her channel. Uh, she is 1000% and I haven't talked to her yet. She had actually gotten a message that there isn't anyone who knows and she was spot on when i give props i give props so walk with the ancestors thank you so much for having me uh, um for having me do this uh transcribing i want to give a shout out to her amazing work please check out her channel i gotta give a shout out to lisa who reminded me for my group big up to the zombies in the house what's good um the zombies who reminded me lisa one of our amazing um, grandmamas who reminded me that I had this in March. Um, and then also I gotta give a shout out to a sun star too, that actually have, you know, I always have to like bite my tongue sometimes because sometimes I just totally, totally, you know, I judge people based on things, but I give again a shout out to Brother Panic for just up leveling Fleur Brown. I used to judge this man so hard and I gave a public apology because he's the bomb like dot com and he doesn't ask for, he doesn't give you the chaser, but he definitely gives you the facts and the information that is absolutely on point. I gotta give a, a shout out to him because if it wasn't for him, the up leveling that happened after, after the full moon eclipse in Scorpio, I just, it, it wouldn't have happened. So big up to Brother Panic. Also, I got to give a big up to another person who actually triggered the transcribing, which is um, uh, Brother Hayes. So, you know, normally, you know, I'm all about the sea stars, but I got to give props to the sun stars because they just stimulating all of my pineal gland, y'all. So, you know, it isn't anything without the yang, isn't anything without the yang. So I gotta give props to those who absolutely have a part in some of my upgrading lately. So big up to Rod Hayes, big up to Brother Panic, big up to uh, Walk with the Ancestors Dean, y'all at thebomb.com, and big up to Lisa for reminding me. So y'all, I know you wanna get into it. I hope all's well. Make sure you put a handy dandy like on the video as I start off the translation and the read. So, um, you know, I, I was rushing to y'all. Do I have lipstick on my lips? I was trying to be presented. I put clothes on. 
I had clothes on. I'm joking. <laughs> Listen, y'all, I printed out all my notes. I hope you're here for the shenanigans today. And let me explain something, y'all. You know how I get in. Let me just say peace east, west, north, and south. This is Floyd Brown coming to you today with another message. And I want to also say that um, this message is a bit of purple pilling. So I always ask for your permission if you want to be purple pilled. If, listen, if Fleurone is too overweight, let me give a, let me give a, <laughs> wait, before I start, because I want more people to check in because I don't like to repeat myself. Let me give a, a shout out to all of the people who said that I am, I am in no way healthy enough to tell you to say no to drugs because I'm fat. Let me, let me give it, let me give a sip to you. Yes, I am fat in all the right places. And let me tell you, you wish you knew where those places were. <laughs> mm. Mm, 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 mm. <laughs> I bet you, I bet you I could run faster than you when the pole shift comes. <laughs> I bet you if you didn't have no nothing to nothing to work with that the chine, uh, Shinwa gave you, if you didn't have any lunches, I bet you I could work you up and you would be tired. So make sure you aren't judging people because some of you come from a different bloodline where I come from being from the jungle. This is what real women look like. This is all homegrown, 100% heirloom, GMO free. And no, I'm not snacking on hamburgers, McDonald's. I'm eating, uh, listen, I'm drinking water and eating that sun. Yes, I'm fat. I know I am. <laughs> Shout out to all you haters in the room. You need to go to drug here. Listen, I said, if you go to drug rehab, I'm gonna go to, I'm gonna go to Weight Watchers. We go together. <laughs> let me stop, let me stop. Anyway, Big up to everybody who could take the message and doesn't take it quite personally. <laughs> mm. Everything on this body is 100% organic and real. From the Ruta to the Tuta. I. <laughs> so anyway, let's get into the conversation tonight, y'all. I have a message. Um, again, I want to give a shout out to Dean who requested this. Uh, a lot has happened right now. I'm making sure that this message stays up so hopefully um, we don't have any visitations from Willy Wonka and his Lake of Doom because you know they hate us. <laughs> they hate us. So um, as many of you remember, when I was in Brazil, I had gotten a couple of messages that used to come throughout the year. Also, there was another message that was found on my phone. That's why I got to give a shout out to our zombie Z Lisa because I had a dream that I was doing so i forgot who told me i was doing something and this was one of the messages that was in my phone so many of you know i'm a contactee let me reintroduce myself i am a contactee and of interdimensionals i am a gratefully from another place rather than this firm most of you aren't even from here this isn't even your your um planet because this isn't a planet this is a hologram but anyway, I woke up and this message was on the phone. It was two messages like this, and I didn't transcribe them. Oh, it's upside down. Sorry, y'all. Okay? I printed it out for y'all. That's what I'm about this life, okay? So this was on my phone. And then many of you know I was getting a message from, um, from, oh, my hair is a mess. Um, <laughs> um, from uh, Brazil. And I got a message from Brazil when I left. I was in contact in Brazil with different types of interdimensional beings. Um, let me get a shout out to all our family in Brazil. Bon dia, bon, boa noite. It's night time for now. Boa noite. Tudo <laughs> bem? Um, I got a message for about a year. And some of you who are on my IG already saw some of these, but I did transcribe them. This is one of the mess one of the messages I got on, and you can see them on. IG, if you're on my IG. So these were some of the messages I was getting every week from Brazil when I left in 2018. And it stayed on my phone. Um, and I hadn't tried transcribed them at the time. There was another one, which I printed out. Some of you had already seen these messages. 
originally. Because remember, I'm about facts. I don't tell you that I'm talking to Oshun. I'm not talking to Yummy Ya. I'm, I'm talking to real, real interdimensional inter, inter, inter beings. Anyway, those are the messages. So the message that I'm going to transcribe today was from um, this. And many of you know that there was an incident that happened with the... Uh, with some of these, um, with a very wealthy, couple of wealthy people who actually took a uh, supposed trip in the, uh, in a, hey Selma, I miss you mama cakes. Selma, you remember, right? Selma was around, big up to Selma. I haven't seen Selma for a while. Selma, we've got to talk. I, I, you know, how the family, how the children, we got to talk. I sound so New York, right? We've got to talk. <laughs> Um, uh oh, my messages stopped. Hold on now. Sometimes the messages go so far. Okay. So why are my messages stop? Uh oh. Please don't do this. Please don't do this. My messages. Okay, it's back. I think it's here. Did they stop my messages again? Sugar plum. Okay, I think I see you. All right. Put it. Okay, I I'm gonna leave it alone. I'm gonna leave, okay. So uh, I received these messages last year from Brazil. Uh, they were sent to me every week. I did have contact. And again, when I went back to Brazil, I had more contact. Many of you heard about this um, before. So I'm gonna kind of reiterate for those who are new to this channel. Um, I've had contact since a little, little, little peapod. And my level of contact has enhanced over the years and it has been continual. Um, sometimes when I'm in contact with different beings, like the ones in Brazil, those are not beings I've ever been in contact with. And most people would judge them visually because Willy Wonka makes sure to watch, uh, to make movies that demonize this, this, this look. So what happens is that a lot of times is that if there are beings that, are, that aren't nefarious, that are literally just very, either neutral or um, maybe even um, positive, you know, if you judge as positive, that they don't look visually what's appeasing to you because all of your social media has been purposefully um, propagandized to make beings that look like that negative. So most people who would see certain types of beings would literally perceive these beings, especially the ones I saw in Brazil, as something that was negative uh, physiologically and that would deter you, you would either be afraid, you wouldn't want to engage with them, or you would all automatically have a sub, um, a sub tier f uh, fear of these type of beings. So um, these are the ones that actually left these messages. And many of you know when I was in Brazil that it's heavy contact. That's why I give a shout out to Brazil, because Brazil, y'all ain't trying to stop the contact. They just let it go. They just let it flow. They let everything. <laughs> I'm being honest. Brazil lets everything come out in the field. So, you know, I really pre appreciate when I'm out in Brazil because the beings that I, I actually have contact and my daughter, one of my daughters had contact with is really heavy and they're really quite positive. They're just very helpful. They haven't anything nefarious. They, inter they interface with, I say they interface with beings as necessary. It isn't when I came there, my energy is different than what they're used to energetically, and they already know who and what you are based on your your um, energetic, uh, you know, auric field, how it how it pulsates, what colors, how bright your auric field is. So they already had an awareness I was coming before I even landed in Brazil the first time. So um, I'm gonna go in those messages, but the one specifically I want to um, transcribe for you all is the message from. I can't see her. Your comments are Willy Wonka's messing with your comments again. And I didn't even start the God darn video. Let's just get it in, y'all. Okay? So I want to ask permission again. If you're ready to be purple pilled, let me know. Put a 13. Because this, listen, uh, if you're going to get offended, let, <laughs> let me do a PSA. Let me, what is it, a PSA? Personal service announcement. Okay. Let me do a PSA, please. If you come to this channel, listen, I don't promote my channel. I don't put it out there. I'm not trying to get likes. I'm not trying to, well, I am, want you to like it because you let me know that you like the concept, but I'm not trying to really promote to other people. Usually people come to me because they know a certain kind of awareness. So this is my block. Do you know what I mean? You could go to Love and Light block. You could go to Becky's block. You could go to, you know, Keisha's block. 
but this is my block. So if you come in, I'm assuming you come in with respect and you're, you're open and receptive. It doesn't mean you have to agree with everything I say, but you're receptive to the message. If you get offended so easily, and I, I do tell you, I'm a triple sag. So, you know, it's, it's not purposefully done, but I may insult, you know, I'm so, you know, I speak so freely sometimes. Sometimes I say things that can be perceived a certain way. So if you're highly sensitive, if you so personal, if you don't really have friends that, that are honest with you, then this may not be the channel for you. And I'm okay. This is for those who are in the openness to hear whatever message is, okay? So it's not for everybody. So if you're okay to be purple pilled, you, you're okay to stay. But when I go in and I start, you know I, it's, it's off the chain, okay? So I'm just saying, I'm, I'm gonna purple pill you. So I'm letting you know. So I wanna get into the message that I woke up to it, and this is only part of the message. It was a longer message, as many of you can see, okay? And this message is from the Nomos. This is from the Mer Famille. And the Nomos are a aquatic, but they're more so uh, an amphibious um, species that are from what you perceive to be a serious, okay? These are what is, this is why there are whales attacking ships right now. This is why um, people are being eaten by sharks. This is why the gates are open in the water, y'all. So we're going to get in there right now, okay? Um, right now, you had some submarine uh, divers that went into the water. First of all, I'm going to call fake, fake news, okay? Um, they supposedly, allegedly go, went down in a, in a casket. I'm sorry. I apologize. They went down in some sort of tin box went down to the bottom of the ocean to perceivably, uh, supposedly, supposedly go down and see the Titanic. Now, it was also called the Titan. And if you are, you are able to transcribe that, the fact that it called it Titan and this was a ritual, okay? And also it's it's couple, it, it's a layered cake. So it's not just the cake base itself, it's multiple tiered. And that this literally was also a, ritual to ritualize the same type of event that happened with the titanic as allegedly the titanic didn't crash on an iceberg it literally was blown up just like the twin towers allegedly i'm a jokester it's a joke it's not real okay so it's the same kind of thing with twin towers it's the same thing with the titanic during the time that they wanted to change in um change over to uh, a federal reserve there were a couple of millionaires at the time because millionaires were like billionaires then uh that opposed the po the, to the conversion over to uh the um the federal reserve uh at the time they had this unsinkable boat it was magnificent, it was beautiful, and they did a bait and switch. So basically, it was supposed to be the boat because they didn't want to ruin their really spiffy boat. So what they did is they invited all of those who opposed. That's why none of you should get on all together anywhere because if they want to get you, all they need you to do is all collectively go as one because they can get you all at one shot. So they basically had a boat, allegedly, this isn't real, I'm mentally ill, this is just a conversation. Um, got on a boat, these dudes that opposed the Federal Reserve, got on the boat, boom, 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 you know what I'm saying? They heard booms, blew that sucker up, you know what I mean? It sank and it wasn't the Titanic, it was the bootleg Tannic. <laughs> like the Titan that went down. It was the bootleg one. They did a bait and switch. They took the sign off the original Titanic, put it on the bootleg one that they didn't mind losing, and they blew that sucker up, allegedly. I'm a, I'm a mental Ill, uh, Ill person, so don't believe me, okay? All right? So that was to initiate what? The Federal Reserve, okay? So what did they do again? They always reenact. If you know anything about the, uh, the ritualistic masons, the 33 degree... Uh, Nazis, n uh, not Nazis, the uh, what do you call them? The um, the Scottish rights uh, wrongs, the Scottish wrongs. Okay, um, the the uh, what do you call them? The uh, the Zionists, whatever you want to call them. They, they go by many names, okay? These clowns, and we're going to get into that. That's why I say if you're going to be purple pill, you're going to be all the way pill today, okay? These clowns like to reenact. They like to do rituals. That's why they do rituals whenever they're doing their degrees, up, up, up leveling someone. They always reenact 
previous types of acts, you know, times when something happened. So they'll have like someone wear like a cuff on their arm to replicate another time when this happened to one of their members. So they tend to reenact things in order to initiate the same energies that are required for a shift over meta metaphysically. And what was being initiated when these gentlemen supposedly we went down in this Titan, this tin can where they were sealed, sealed in. Now, now personally, y'all, and I don't know, let me say, I want to say sorry because it's going to be, you know, uh, you know, it's kind of be like, it's going to be like cheek, cheek and tongue a little bit. I personally know that if you are a billionaire and you got loot like that, you certainly are already skeevish and paranoid like some of us. I already know you ain't getting down like that. You ain't going down in no box. That's why you only saw videos, uh, you know, seen after the fact. That's why you only saw videos a little bit after the fact of the young man in there, you know, taping it. You didn't see the whole launching it down there. You didn't see the submersion of it. I'm just saying, I personally think I could be wrong that it was a bait and switch just like the titanic they made it seem like they went down it and it personally allegedly it most likely is an insurance scheme too because you know how they like to you know uh finagle money so they try to act like they they you know they croaked because they know they all leave they all left they're all gone underground and then we're going to get into that so you know what a what a wonderful plan to basically get your insurance policy for your family so you collect on your insurance policy you go down and reenact one of these clowns um, you know, rituals to basically initiate what the Fed now, okay, which is now going to be Fed now is now in uh, Eastern time is on the block today, um, the July 1st. Okay, so Fed now is being initiated by this ritual. And it's the same re ritual with the same type of names. You know, they like to do names that turn or have similar meanings, Titanic, Titan. You know, they, they generally use names that have the same energy. Okay, the two T's, which are like the two crosses, which represent, you know, the uh, like the almost like that Rusakri, uh, Rusakri, uh, you know, that, that, that um, the energy of like, uh, with the Masons and Lucifer, not Lucifer, the Satanic. Well, no, no I wouldn't say this is taste Satanic. This is more based in, um, this is more of the agenda of like um, Masons because it just looks like their stuff, okay? So anyway, so we're getting into that, but there's, there's remember I told you there's several layers to this cake. Do know that we are on the precipice of a pole shift. Some call it the reset, some call it the, the, the Phoenix event. Some call, I love J Dreamers. Let me give a shout out to J Dreamers. I love J Dreamers. J Dreamers channel who talks about the uh, the the plasma apocalypse. <laughs> I love how you say it. So the plasma apocalypse when he's got a little squid on his page that looks like the 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 freaking, um, you know, the squid that's in the sky. The Cthulhu, remember the Cthulhu that I saw in the sky, the, the Cthulhu. Okay, so let's get into um, the several layers of the cake. So you have that basically Masons or 33 Scottish Rites Masons initiating ritual to bring on the same energies that initiated bringing in the Federal Reserve. And now um, before all of this happened, you do know that there were several people murdered, which was including the Bitcoin guy who was just murdered recently. The PayPal guy was murdered and also the guy who created Cash App. I Could it be I'm crazy? I could be crazy, right? If you don't think that's by chance? We got a new fiscal um, monitoring system being initiated just like the Federal Reserve. And now you see all these people being taken out in 2.5 seconds. I don't know. I could just be wrong. Maybe I'm a little mentally ill. We don't know. So that's part of the layers of the cake. But there's, there's another tier to this that is more metaphysical and more has to do with the initi initiating of opening gates. Now, notice that they called the company was called Ocean Gate. You know, everything that they have, like Watergate, you notice that all of these different uh, um, um, Willy Wonka Ponzi schemes, they always got a gate, like Watergate, um, you know, White Gate, Black Gate. They always got something. What's that thing? Uh, black, what's that? Blackstone. That's called Blackstone. That's different. That's a, it's, it's in that tier though, but they always call things gates. It's because whenever they do something like that, they're opening up a gate. They're opening up a layer of an opening for um, entering, bringing something in or exiting out of something. So that in pizza gate, you're right. Thank you, Denna, uh, Denna, Donna for saying that. Um, 
So that being said, let's go into what's also being initiated at this time. Um, and I'm going to transcribe the message that was given through this message here. Okay. I had to kind of start you off, but this is it. So during this time, it's the, and I started off the video. I'm going to read off a little bit of this because I wrote, listen, y'all, I have notes and you know, I never write notes. So right now we're talking about the Ocean Gate. Notice that the company was called Ocean Gate, the Nomos Gate, the Golden Gate, okay? And, you know, also let me state that the reason why that particular um, propaganda was purposeful on multiple tiers is because as they're initiating another, fed, another type of fiscal um, turnover, they're also initiating some types of subliminal fears in people of going in water or people staying away from that location where there most likely is a vortex of some size. Usually when you have a massive cra uh, crash or something that goes down with that many deaths, people, that many people dying in one place usually opens up a vortex. It happens in certain places where people, that's why sometimes you'll have them do mass murders on one particular ground because what it does is deaths initiate opening of portals or veil, like, like opening of of like dimensions because when people transition usually there's like a like an opening it's usually like a crack and people kind of seep through there and that's how they slip up and go out but if you have so many people being murdered on one site it will cause a ripple in that time space um you know that landmass causing portals to open and it usually happens that's why when you go you know to places like you know hospitals where there were a lot of really heinous things happening, people dying, you notice that there's a very thick energy over there. Almost like you feel, and sometimes, you know, those who are into going to ghost places, places that are haunted, you know, like webs, you usually feel like you're walking in, or you're walking into water or there's like webs, like, you know, you feel like webs are on your face. Those are like when portals are opening. So mass deaths cause that. So why is this important to the message that was initiated and asked for me to transcribe to our amazing C star Dean from uh, walking with the ancestors because this is one of the gates that's going to open up and when we're going to leave if you are planning or if you have qualified to be able to ascend descend however you perceive it or to leave this firmament you are going to have to go through the water gates and that was initially telling the others that this gate is now open so it's multiple tiered that's why they choose certain moon phases to do these rituals they pick a specific type of people five which is like the five the pentagram has five the five appointed star which is also initiated with the star of david so you bring you bring that five energy which is literally the, the L, all the elements and that initiates this ritual which also opens up the uh the awareness of a gate and they speak to each other through these rituals as well so um let's go into it so we said the ocean gate equals the dogon gate equals the nomos gate equals the golden gate okay it's causing fear in most people so most people who perceive these men being locked in an underground prism it was meant to also initiate primal uh fears in you of going into the water under the deep water to going deep into the water because do know that there isn't anything above the what you call space is underneath so when they told you to look up and that space is above, no, that's a dome and that's a lit dome with all kinds of electronics, all kinds of satellites that are watching to monitor, to control you. But all the actual space is underneath. That's why when ships come in, actual ships, not the geoengineered fake ships, not the reverse engineered ships that you see by your Willy Wonka systems that they're about to initiate with y'all. And we're going to talk about the skies that are also turning all kinds of colors because they're terror the terror dome that you're existing in is literally terraforming the all your arenas they're spraying everyone like raid right now and i talked about this with the zombies and i told the zombies i'm going to talk about this remind me y'all please do a marker to tell you what about the invisible people i'm going to talk about that as well but i want to wait until the end i want to talk about the ocean gates so also they're they're initiating fear in people so whenever they do a ritual like that and they pull so many people in because you do know right just the day before, there were like 700 people coming. What was it from? 
Was it from Cuba or was it from Africa? And they died in the water. So how come they choose to show you five billionaires or billionaires that would choose to go into an underground coffin, which I'm calling cap on, and they're not showing you the day before when there were 700 um, you know, Cubans. Were they Cubans or were they from Africa? that literally died on top of a boat and were drowning all over the place. Like they won't tell you that, but they'll show you this. You understand? Because they know how to initiate certain kind of emotions in you. Because remember y'all, this is all a hologram. This is all a simulation. Everything that you think is being purposefully um, controlled by all of your social media. All your social media, everything that's on television, every movie that they're showing you is all for mind control. If you don't get a chance, look in my community where the CIA agent tells you he's an old KGB guy. He tells you that we're done. They, it takes 10 to 20 years to change people into, um, you know, non mindless, um, ethic, ethicless people. And it's very easy and they do it to each other. That's why when I said people don't do drugs, the first thing they say, oh, you're fat. You don't look healthy. As soon as, do you understand? So as soon as someone at attacks something that's unhealthy on you, you look to find something in someone else because you can't deal with the things that are going on in you. So you got to project your insecurities or the things that you're working, that you're not willing to work on or even see about yourself. 90% of this planet is on drugs. And whether it's pharmaceutical, which a lot, everyone in the United States, all your pharmaceuticals allegedly come from China, Xinhua, the same people that they said created the Wuhan shuffle. Boop, 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 boop. Okay, they created the Wuhan shuffle, but you still getting your medication from them? And I don't, I want to remind everybody, because I'm going on a tangent, I'm going to go back to the gate, but I want to remind everybody during 2020, do you remember when you were being sent seeds in the mail? that Xinhua was sending you seeds were coming from China and random people's houses who didn't order any seeds and no one ever addressed it? Do you not realize that? Does anyone remember that? No one remembers because everyone has a short-term memory because everybody's chiefing all the time. Why don't we stop chiefing? I told you, if you go to drug head rehab, I'm gonna go to uh, Jenny Craig. We do it together, okay? So I'm not gonna tell you to do something I'm not willing to do. But do you remember when we had seeds and everybody was getting seeds in the mail and no one knew where they're coming from and the government acted like they didn't know anything? Like basically, like, what are you talking about? Why were they sending you seeds? Do you also over, over, overstand and realize that our contract here is up? This is a corporation. United Fakes isn't even a country, y'all. It's a corporation. And the queen, once she passed away, the lease was up. And guess who has the next lease? Ni hao. <laughs> That's who has the next lease, y'all. Okay? That's why they opened up your borders. You got training camps all in the South Dakota. They trained them. They let them in here. They Listen, y'all, it wasn't an invasion. Red Dawn is going to happen because it was an invitation because this is a lease. That's why Xinhua got all these police stations as if this is their country because it is. If you didn't know, I'm going to let you know. Okay? And you can fact check me. Why don't you do a little work? I'm going to do some steps while you do it. Okay? We work out together. Why don't you do some steps and look at it? This is all basically a planned demolition, y'all. We live in a terror dome. Nothing here is owned because we don't live here. We're, none of us are from here. The only ones who may claim, lay claims here is the incubator children. Because some of the people here who are doing the most diabolical things, who were put in the hot, higher tier, like the Skeksis, the Skeksis are the ones who are ruling over here. They came in here. They were sentenced to triple life sentences in this terror dome, this prism, because they're psychopaths. They, the people didn't want them where they were from, so they were sent here. So what they did, the Skeksis, watch the Dark Crystal. The Skeksis came here, they befriended all the Gelfling, and then they started to dominate and create disgust. They had boogers coming out of their nose, talking, they were pigs. They basically uh, made everyone seem like, who's in charge, y'all? Who's in charge? Who's in charge of all your social media? D take a look at all your social media and look at who's in charge and look at all this is why i gotta give panic so much props because i think people really sleep on this man including myself he's not about jokes he's about that business and i love when he checks people like yo i'm about this life i've studied this i know this he was saying that everything that's being initiated on the social media is basically for social engineering
all of the movies especially brown people we watch movies and everything there isn't any brown on brown love on any movies because the skeksis rule this realm they don't want brown people loving brown people so everything that brown people watch on social media is designated to make you hate yourself to make you want to choose something opposite or only want to have sex anally okay because everything here is about the skeksis and they aren't able to up level because these mofos are here triple lifers and they're gonna be in this dome that's why they all want to leave and they're all living in these underground taverns right now y'all they're not out here they're not out here with you and i so i gotta <coughs> basically give you these messages to give you an idea of how to get out of here okay so let me take a note please put a like on a video if you have fetish shenanigans I like this water. It's like a it's like a mineral water. Okay. So, my message that was decoded with the message from the nomos is, and the nomos are a type of amphibious type beings that are interrelated to the aquatics. Why there is also an attack going on, I'm gonna go into the water gates, is because now, um, I think I talked to you before about some mermaids that were actually taken. All of these bastards are taking, just like Noah's Ark, they're taking and stockpiling people and entities and other species under these underground, um, in these underground uh, cities. Okay, they're stockpiling them. So that whole concept of, excuse me, there's a whole concept of the whole Noah's Ark is true, but it really is speaking to what they do. They're stockpiling children, they're stockpiling women, and they're stockpiling certain underground, underwater beings like the um, these, they actually took three. As from what I know, they took three mermaids and they took them and now all of the mers have waged war on the surface beings, just like in Aquaman. What was it, Aquaman? Aquaman. When they did something and basically when they caused the war is when they kidnapped this whole thing. And it's amazing that we saw Little Mermaid at the same time that they did the kidnapping. And that's why all of these water beings are basically, um, they're unleashing all of the, all, they're basically telling all of the sharks all of the dolphins, all of the sea life to attack mankind. Notice I didn't say humankind. Human is different than mankind. So, you know, unfortunately, I wanna say sorry to the man who was out in, I think he was out in Russia. No, he was out in the, um, in the Greek islands. Uh, he was swimming a Russian man. And unfortunately, the bastards who left him out there, I do blame the people who were out there with them. They watched the man get eaten up by a shark. I have to blame these people because now the fishermen know what time it is because they're seeing it out in the seas. They're seeing the hostility. They're seeing the fish being aggressive. They're seeing the whales being aggressive. Even the most passive of the whales, which is the humpback whale, is now attacking because they've been unleashed. So in the message, um, okay, in the message coming from the ocean gate is that because these little these little these mermaids were taken um there is going to be a wrath of everybody it's too it's too par because at the same point it's a wrath of every mankind that tends to enter into the water kingdom or the water gates but in order to leave the firmament you have to leave through the water gates you literally have to leave through the water gates. And we talk about the golden gate. So I really, when I broke down the concept is that the ocean gate, which was that tomb, that one underwater that I personally think nobody was in, um, that was all cap, um, equals the Dogon gate, which basically initiates the Nomos gate, which is just the return of everyone back in, through the water gates. In order to leave this firmament, you have to go through the plasma. The plasma is not only above, but it's below. And anytime somebody's leaving, that's why they call it heaven above and they call it hell underneath us, because it's the opposite. In order to leave, you have to go from up, up below. If hell was underneath, why are they going hiding under there? Why are they all going under there? If heaven was above, why aren't they all flying and creating cities in the sky? Because that's all, that isn't the case. Everything is underneath. That is to get get it, get out of here. And also they've been digging, trying to get out of here as well. Trying to burrow their way out of here. Like, you know, the prisoners who are trying to dig their ways with a spoon. So part of the messages with that is that 
Um, and this is where I have to give props to our C star Dean is that she gave a message that she didn't know. And that's how I know she was 1000% because we haven't never spoken. So her giving a message, like even a C star call me, I couldn't believe she got this. So in or when we decide, the message is, is that when you're to leave, you're going to go through the waters and the whole concept of, uh, the story of Jesus and I mean, Moses ushering the people of, uh, the Jew, um, the, the Jews, um, the Hebrews through the waters. Remember he parted the Red Sea, the Red Sea. Now we talked about the whole thing with Beetlejuice, right? And that it's not a Red Sea, it's that you see red. The water turns red because the sky will be red and the water will appear red when you see it. And when you go to the waterways, all the gates, when they open, literally everything parts. So water is going to be redistributed during the pole shift. But when it's time to enter into those gates, I don't know if you watched the movie. Um, what's the movie with the little girl, uh, the little uh, Polynesian girl? What's the, what's the little girl, the Polynesian cartoon is beautiful. Uh, Moana, Moana. Remember when Moana, such a beautiful first scene. I wish I could show you the first scene is when the water picks her up and basically it parts and it talks to her. Water has frequency and it's sentient. It isn't as, water isn't um, dead. Water has consciousness because it's just like pla Moana. Yeah, Moana. It has consciousness. So remember in the beginning of Moana, it just was talking to her. It was bringing her the, the little green um, jewel and it was playing with her, bringing it in. Water in itself is conscious because the waters within us also speak to the waters without. So that's what I'm saying. You know, it's very interesting that they're demonizing the water and they're showing you all these shark attacks and they're also showing you like they resurrected Jaws. But what I was told with this message um, was that in order to leave, you're going to have to leave through the gates in the water. And Golden Gate is cat because Golden Gate, what color is the Golden Gate, y'all? Let's see if everybody knows what I'm talking about because I don't want to, I hope I'm not just talking to myself. What color is the Golden Gate, y'all? What color is the Golden Gate? Because remember I said you're going to go through the Red Sea like Moses? What color is the Golden Gate? It's red. Chameleon. Yeah, it's red. Okay. Why is it called the Golden Gate? Okay. It's red. Whenever, when it's time for, in the message, when it's time to leave, we have to be at the, the gates of the water, the water. And then before the gates actually open, they turn red. So if you notice that um, in this message, I want to stay on point. In this message, it speaks about the fact that before the shift, that's why they've demonized red water because so, they make you fearful. They want you to run away. The red tide. They're purposefully geoengineering and, and basically... Um, controlling the narrative of the way you perceive red water. So they, for the last five years, they've been talking about the red tide. They've been talking about the red waters, the blood waters. They've demonized it in the Bible to make it seem scary. But in itself, when you see, it's not that the water turns red. Remember, that's a mistake. You see red. Red sea, you see red. Meaning that the sky, the reason why the, the water is blue is because the sky is blue. If the sky doesn't have the color, the, that's why at nighttime it turns like black because the sky is dark. The sky, the water reflects what are the colors in the sky. So the water in itself will reflect red. And that's what lets you know that the gates are going to be totally open for exiting. Okay, Exodus. And the whole concept of Moses walking the chosen people through and opening, parting the Red Sea, that is going to happen because the gates are all in the water. And during the time that the gates open, that's why they want to get everybody away from the water lines. They're trying to move everybody away from the shorelines. They're trying to demonize the water. And now they knew by kidnapping those sea, those beautiful sea, um, uh, uh, you know, um, those beautiful uh, mermaids, they knew that it was gonna cause a war so that people wouldn't be able to access the gates. Y'all, they've been doing this reset for a long time. So in this, it's telling me the blueprint of how to leave here. And it's telling you that you have to leave through the waters. It All the gates to leave here in this realm are in the waters. Remember I told you plasma in, plasma out? In order to get in or out, you gotta go through the plasma. You came through the plasma, this plasma, <laughs> Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> you came through this plasma, right? 
because remember, as a mother, we basically carry the babies, we, with the babies encased in plasma womb, right? And the baby, when, especially when your water breaks, you feel that whoosh and the baby's ushered out. And just like in the movie, if you want to use an idea of the baby also, if you want to talk about in the matrix, what happens when Neil wakes up? He wakes up, what does he wake up in? Plasma. And where did he go, y'all? Where did he go when he got free? I wanted you to remember because they tell you, but they don't really tell you and they demonize it. So when he woke up, he woke up in plasma, right? And as soon as they noticed that he was conscious, it threw him down into the drain, down into the water below, right? It didn't shoot him up. It didn't take him out. It threw him in the waters below. So it flushed him down. So that was a portal. It was telling you the truth. So when he became conscious, the AI didn't want him anymore because he wasn't asleep, because he was only purposeful so long as he was asleep and he could be a battery. But as soon as he woke up and they noticed that he was awoke up, he wasn't any longer part of their, um, their, their, uh, their harvesting. They flushed him down the tube, which is a vortex, which is a portal. They flushed him down and he actually flushed down into the waterways below. They tell you, but they made it seem dirty, right? Dirty drain. He was in a dirty place. He had to be picked up by Neza Keneza. They got to demonize it because they don't want to tell you that that's how you get out. And this is one of the messages is that they say is that in order to leave here, you're going to have to leave when the water turns red, when you see red, not the water turns red, you see red. You see red. That's why also, y'all, they playing with all the skies, showing all these cover colors. I'm saying they're messing with you because you won't be able, you'll be so confused and you'll be so manipulated by social engineering and all of these fake um, so-called intellists telling you all, oh, oh, it's going to come from above. They're going to come and pick you up. And I saw it. I was on the moon. There's no freaking moon. The moon is a, is a satellite. They got all kinds of beings on there working to make sure they control the ebb and flow. That's why when the moon is full, you're most manipulated. Any magician knows this. Anybody who works in the occult knows that when you want to do expelling or exercising spells or getting rid of spells, you do it on a full moon because the moon expels. It doesn't bring anything in. But guess what? When you really want something, when you really want to bring something through, you do it on a new moon. And it's not a moon at all. It's when the moon isn't around. So when the moon is not looking at you and controlling you is when you could do the most magic for yourself purposeful to bring things in. See, you have to use critical thinking to understand what's going on here. In order, these portholes that are actually located in the waterways, they're making sure that they're demonizing so much that most people will be cold into these so-called smart cities that you won't be able to make it there. And some of us are actually Moses in itself. We're the call to the waterways. And you can only be called to the waterways by those who share the bloodline of the Nomos, the, the bloodline of the Murs, the bloodline of the elementals can bring you to the waterways because those are the ones who, only ones who can access these gates to open. So those are the ones who will call you to and bring you into the doorway, just like the concept of Moses walking with the, you know, brought the commandments, but that's all, that's all extra. That's all extra. Basically it's the righteous coming with the consciousness and awareness. And when you go to the entry that brings you, brings you to the entry, those gates open because there's a person and a person that always represent people that have the energy or the, um, qualifications to access these gates. Not everybody can get in the gate because if everybody could get in the gate, they would be leaving through the gates. They, they, they're not going to have everyone get the, to the gates because they're going to try to call people away from the shorelines. So all of this is telling you that exit is coming. Exodus, exodus is coming and that it's always going to be through the waters. Blood in, blood out. Plasma in, plasma out. The only way that you're able to exit is out of here. Even when you leave through your transitioning, you leave through the plasma. That's why there's a plasma, plasma that comes in and shows up with people when they transition. You ever see some of the seers? Who are some of our seers out here? And you've been seeing people who transition. Some of you are very sensitive. Um, a lot of people are very sensitive and they actually can perceive someone when they transition. And you notice that glow that comes like you see it. It's almost like a like a fuzz, like a like a um, like a white 
white fuzz, like a, like a mist. That's like a, like a, you know, mist is water, right? A mist that comes off of a person and it kind of elevates and it goes outward. But what you don't realize is that it has to exit out of a, like a, if a plasma energy has to pull it in because plasma, plasma is attracted to the plasma, like plasma will pull plasma to it. So when they turn into like the plasma that comes out of them, that plasma energy, it's pulled out and that's where they leave. So usually with transitions with people, you know, again, we've talked about the fact that you have a lot of people who will tell you to go to the light and that in itself, you got to overstand that the words that you're even using have been purposefully spate and switched. And I know people were very um, sensitive and talking and very sensitive that I said that darkness pulls in all light codes. That's a fact. And when you bring facts to people, stop being so sensitive to facts because the problem is we're all under mind control. And if I tell you something that's a fact and you get offended, it's because you're not understanding that we've all been under a opposite, a opposite ideology. Thank you, Martha. I appreciate it, my love. You know what I mean? So the fact is, is that when you have dark, that's why they demonize darkness. But I tell people all the time, they were like, oh, she sounds like a racist. Oh, you're just another supremacist. Am I really telling you that I'm a supremacist by telling you that black absorbs all colors? Like, didn't you take elementary color scheme? Didn't you know that when you have black on a paper, put all the colors in one? See, this is where I got to go elementary, y'all, okay? Because we're going to talk about more of these gates and what's going on. But we got to talk elementary. When you put all colors on a paper, put orange, put green, put brown, all in the same spot. What color does it turn into? Okay, so black absorbs all light coats. What is wrong with that? Like, it's so crazy that there are people who want brown people to feel bad about. They'll complain and say, oh, all these Negroes, they're just always complaining. They always want more. Don't we give them enough? You know what I mean? Don't they have like Cardi B as a representation? Don't we got that little naughty? Uh, why are they always asking? Why are they always ask, asking like acting like? No, when I'm speaking something positive about brown people, everybody should accept it because you're talking about brown people be always being victims, right? So when I bring power and understanding of their skin color being powerful and why it's the number one thing sold on the market, then I want you to accept that that's beautiful. Stop calling them victims and when they take power back, then you first person say, oh, you're a supremacist. Listen, everybody has a benefit in this field, okay? If you're lighter skinned, you have privileges and that's beautiful, wonderful. I think it's great. You accept that, right? So brownness and blackness absorbs all spectrums of light. That's why there's a lot of rhythm in people of a lot of color because they pull in all spectrums of light. Light brings in frequencies. That's why you see people go like this, like they could pop rock. People who have a lot of melanin have a lot of beat. They have a lot of rhythm because they're pulling in light codes. With the light codes, you bring in different frequencies. That's why they make up their own languages. It brings in the ability to bring in another frequency, all these different strands of frequency. And that's okay. That's okay. So there's a benefit to everybody in here. But please don't come in here and call me a supremacist for speaking beauty to brownness. Coiled hair brings in frequency. That's the one thing that that not everybody has, but there's beauty in that as well. So instead of calling me a supremacist, why don't you take elementary color scheme and realize that black absorbs all colors, okay? And that's a beautiful thing. And my copper skin is beautiful and I love it. And there isn't anything prejudiced about that. I love myself. And if you are light with light eyes and blonde hair, you love yourself too. I encourage you. I think you're beautiful the way you are, but overstand and understand that I love who I am. And I will speak love to a people that are purposefully baited and switched and told that their complexion is a deficit when God darn it, all of the government is stockpiling melanin. So stop it already. Stop being so sensitive and ignorant to other people because you happen to be in home court advantage, but everybody's home court advantage has ended because we in reset. So all those advantages that all of you got before is all done, is a wrap. The others are basically making sure that everything is going to be disturbed. So cut it out, <laughs> cut it out. Stop coming over here and acting like you brand new. If you've been with me before a long time, you understand that if I go in your house and I see beautiful, 
figurines with beautiful blondes headed blue i'd be like that's beautiful what a beautiful statue so when you come in my house and you see africans looking all cosmic black then you put some respect on some blackness you want a woman of colors channel okay so when i go on your channel i respect you and i love the things that you do for your lineage and what you represent but you don't skip you need to put some respect when you come on this channel because when you come here and call me a supremacist i already know that you're in a you're probably one of the mud flood children because that's why your consciousness is capped. Because you're unable to see anything past your own narcissism. Because we're all under this firmament and we're all under a certain level of social engineering. And you got to break some of that social engineering to actually see facts. Everybody is beautiful to a certain degree. We all have benefits in the way we were, are perceived and we chose to come in here. But when I talk about beautiful blackness and how it's able to bring in light codes, that is beautiful. And if that's a problem and I'm a supremacist, then by all means, you can unsubscribe. And I won't, I won't, I won't cry. Don't cry for me, Argentina. The truth is we never left you. <laughs> okay, so let me, I don't, I just want to touch that because people are so sensitive. I was like, what is wrong with you? Okay, so let's get back to the gates. Because this is for everybody. I'm not, I'm not discriminative. This, this information is for everybody. So um, the fact of the matter is, in order to leave, um, there are a couple things that are required. And then this message. And let me say this. The reason why I was able to, and it was a combination platter. And I have to bring this up because I think what's happening right now is they're making us hate each other. Because... Part of the reason I was able to transcribe this because I had this message for since March, y'all. Big up to the Zoombies who were on Zoom. And again, Lisa reminded me. I had this message from March that was on my phone. It's two of them. It's longer than this. I could just print this out. Um, and when I had this message, I didn't transcribe it. But what I wanted to share with you is why I realize now that they are totally demonizing um, relationships with each other and they're trying to make men and women not want to be with each other or around each other this message speaks to it because part of the reasons why we get activated is when we're activated through our opposite opposite end it's like you get opposite end um, males activate us Ron Hayes's voice which was weird in itself it was a C star doing interview with him I, I listen I wasn't planning to transcribe it it was Rod Hayes's voice that literally caused tetrahedrons in my eyes, and I was able to transcribe this immediately. So in it itself, I realized they're making us dislike men, and they're making men dislike women, and they're making you only want to mate with the same because we're, we require each other to activate. He activated me. He's not in the same house. I, I, I'm not living anywhere near him. He activated me literally through his voice. And it's the same with um, Brother Panic. Like they literally were activating my DNA, like literally. And, and I realized then I was like, oh, shoot. And I, did, I really, I really, that's why I say I was under mind control, y'all, too. Because at the end of the day, I was like, how could that happen? I was like, you know, we as women always say, oh, we could do this on our own. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm all about this. You know what I mean? I'm like, I, I. I could, rep I could do my decoding without anything else. No, I required for their voice. I literally heard Rod Hayes' voice and was able to transcribe this. I saw tetrahedrons in my eyes. And once I saw the tetrahedrons, I know that it was going to come through. And then I saw all the gates. Then I was like, okay, the red gate. Then we have to go through. It's like Moses. Okay, I open up the water. Okay, we do that. It literally is coming. This Look how many pages. This is from Rod Hayes just activating me, y'all. Look at this. Look back and front, back and front. This is all. This is all from. Listen, y'all. I, you know, I, I don't cap, and I certainly don't give props to people when I don't need to. But look how many pages I did, y'all, just from him activating me. I've never done this before. This. Look at this. Look, all this just from him activating me. I just from hearing his voice. So I know now from this happening, from this transcribing, that because he he spoke, and I, it's a spur specific. We might share lineage, and I think maybe that could be the case. I don't know. It could be something that his voice opens up that allowed me to do the message. So I want to say this is that what's happening now is that they're demonizing our connection to each other. 
really in itself, I talk about this all the time because part of the gates is that we have to be as light as a feather and we have to release, love has to be clearly in our hearts. And because they're battling back and forth, like, like when did we ever hate men? Like we never, we hadn't ever hated men. Like we always loved men. Like as women, we always respected our dads. We loved our brothers. We loved our sons. We love our mates. Like love is like so easy to do. Like to love someone was so easy. When was it that love was, was so hard on us? That's how you know these bastards have won because it's everything in us. Like it doesn't even have to be your lover. It could be your dad. Like they literally took a lot of the fathers walked out of the house with little girls and our daddies activate us. Like the one thing is because my father transitioned a couple years ago, like I felt lost when my father passed. Like literally in itself, like when he passed, the love that I had for my father inside of me literally felt like it wasn't able to access something that I, I was able to access before. And I haven't had that like that. And, and as soon as someone who had some sort of resonance that match, it activated an ability in me so I can transcribe. So in and itself, men hold the ability to be more logical and they're grounding. And it's an energy thing. We, we may be yin and they're yang. And the whole thing with yin and yang is that it's basically melded with each other as one. The whole thing with the whole twin flames, the whole thing, it's not what you think, it's literally an energetic thing. And they're kind and they you have people like Cynthia G going online. Listen, I I listen to her, you know, my girlfriends would send me uh what's her name? Cin I think her name. Is it Cynthia G? I think it's Cynthia G. Yeah, yeah, it's Cynthia G. They sent me her things, and it wasn't that she wasn't telling the truth, but it was so venomous. And it was, listen, it's okay to get mad. Like sometimes, like I'll say, I'm upset with males on a collective level because I feel like they should be more present, maybe more protective. But it in itself, like why would we allow an energy to constantly go hard on men like that? Call, calling men, brown men, trash, trash bags. Because my dad was such a wonderful man. My baby brother is such a wonderful young man. He hasn't hurt anybody. He's, he hasn't ever killed anybody. My big brother is such a wonderful person. You think you like me? My big brother's funnier. He's more fun. You know, he's in that corporate field, but he's fun. Like, why would we let a woman collectively call all men trash bags and not check her? I'm not saying some of the things she's not saying is true, but how could she make a whole, whole lifestyle, a whole um, thing talking specifically about men like that? And like, like we get pissed off when they do that, when Tommy Samior, who was the other guy? Uh, the guy who passed away. Uh, who's the other guy that passed away? I forgot his name. What's his name that transitioned um, in the, uh, what's his name? I forgot his name. Um, I forgot his name. I, I'm sorry. I, I, you know, he passed away. Uh, um, what's his name? Ke uh, Kevin, Sa Kem Kevin, Sa Kenneth, Kevin Samuel. I mean, listen, y'all, I'm not saying that anybody's not right or wrong. There's things that we all have as a collective that are issues, but why are we allowing that? Like, why are we allowing that to even go down like that unchecked? Like, all it does is bring an energy of like hatred towards each other. And, and listen, for me to do this, I, I needed that Rod Hayes energy. I needed his energy. I needed, I needed to feel the vibration that, tr that literally unlocks something in me. And now I understand that the men and women thing is very important. That's why, and now I realize why the whole pushing for us to be with each other, just same sex, now I know why they do it. Now I know the agenda because in order for you to wake up and be awakened enough to be able to access some of these gates, you have to be connected. And in order to be connected, it's like I could never put a positive. When you put two positives next to each other, they repel. They're supposed to. When you put a negative and positive, negative and negative, they repel. But when you put a negative and positive, they're supposed to. Men are grounding. Men are very grounding. They're beautiful when they're healthy, but they're grounding and they're logical. Women, we are so beautiful and we're able to see and we're, we nourish men and we are able to 
nourish everything around us. And we're magical beings in ourselves. A woman who's healthy is like a magical fairy. Like she builds, she basically makes everything beautiful. She nurtures, she is amazing. All of you sea stars, but in order to really access all of the codes, we have to definitely accept that there is masculine energy that women or females require. Now, it doesn't have to be male sexual. I'm not talking about sex. I'm talking about male to female. And a lot of times what happens is that there are so many females that aren't getting access to healthy, activating males. And I just, I just got, listen, I got it. Like, I got it. I judge Brother Pan. Some of you know, like, I say this so well because I have to eat my words because I judge him so much because he reminded me of things that I felt inside of myself. And they were my own shadows. It had nothing to do with him. It had only to do with the way that I perceived certain things, maybe certain pains that I had. Like, I perceived them. And then when I, when I reached, listen, y'all, that full moon in Scorpio, y'all, that full moon in Scorpio was so activating. I felt like my, my socks were being knocked off. Like I just, I'm so grateful for that energy that I received. And when I did, Brother Panic was initiated in and I listened. Listen, I listen with respect, without judgment. And I take the gems that he is initiate. He's an initiator, just like Rod Hayes is. And I feel like, there isn't any one of us who's perfect because if you see me on certain days, you already know I'm about that life. I'm from Mount Vernon. I'm a little messy sometimes. I like to be naughty, but unfortunately, this, unfortunately, I can't be as naughty as I like to because we going through recess. So I got to behave myself. You know what I'm saying? So uh, <laughs> we have to do it. So I just think at this point, I want to remind everybody that's important for you to understand and understand that we need the activators and men are activating women. They're doing it. The way that his, the tetrahedrons hit my listen it hit me and i was able to transcribe so let's go into it more I, I i could talk about it all day so let's talk about um the black panthers fighting and being in water we're going to talk about the vilification of the fear of water please put a like oh you guys put likes on the video thank you for putting likes on the video i hope you're here for the shenanigans i got some time for y'all so i'm gonna get it in so basically let's go in about the gates i'm gonna transcribe the rest of the message where it talks about we have to access these gates and <clears throat> um also I want to also bring up the fact that the Nazis had worshipped the black sun. And why is it important that I bring this up? Because the black sun literally is inside of people. So the black sun is inside. Like it is inside. They worship something that happens when there's no when there's no perceivable um fake light. So when the 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 um when the firmament is ex is expressing itself with this artificial construct of light the true light remember i talked about black being the initiate the expression of all spectrums of light the black sun is all light so the sun that you see out there the freaking white sun the artificial construct that they put up there and they think we're stupid like we've seen that i didn't see that sun when i was little no i didn't the sun inside the sun outside used to be yellow they try to play games. You know what I'm saying? They, I feel like somebody punks us sometimes. Somebody said, well, let's see if these, these stupid humans will notice. Let's turn the, let's turn the sun white and see if they notice. I think they do it. Cause I remember as a little girl coloring the sun yellow in the sky. And now the sun is white. How the sun get white? How's the sun going to be white and the moon going to be white? Where'd that happen? So, um, so, okay, so that in itself, the sun, the black sun is inside. It's the, it's when the darkness happens, that's when the black sun shows up. Melanin in itself is the black sun. So the black, the Nazis were worshiping the black sun. And even with the sawilo that they did, it's amazing that all the Nazis wear it. But the sawilo is the black sun, y'all. And when you put the sawilo together, where is it? Do I have it? Hold on, y'all. I don't think I printed it out. If you put the sawilo together, it's the it's the, it's the swastika. Hold on, did I print it out? No, no, I didn't print it out. I'm sorry, I didn't print it out. The sawilo together, two the sawilo, two sawilo, the sawilo one represents the black sun, and the sun inside happens at night. So this is crazy because I said this before, and I'm just gonna reinitiate re this for a lot of melanated people. Remember that the black panther. The Black Panther and most melanated animals with dark fur only walk in the nighttime. 
I say this all to say, I talked about the zombies before and I've talked about this for years. Melanated people, in my opinion, most likely are nocturnal. And they've made you feel, they switched you to think that you're supposed to be in the daytime. People are like, what about the vitamin D? There's a black sun that is at night and it, you can't see it because it pulls in all the spectrums of color. So in and itself, anything dark, like the Black Panthers at night, Black Bear goes at night, anything with dark skin, dark things, it goes at night. Why would we think melanated people are, should be walking in the daytime? Because even if we're talking about nature, let's, do, let's be logical. Let me just be logical. Let's talk about nature. If in nature, all of the lions that are very fair with blondish, reddish hair, the beautiful lion with a beautiful mane, they're more golden, they're light. They walk in the daytime. But if they walked at night, you would see them. There's harder for them to hide. But the black panther, the um, the black bear, the, uh, the raccoon, other dark type of animals with dark fur, they can cloak themselves at night. So wouldn't it, wouldn't, it, wouldn't it make sense that anything that has darker skin would be able to cloak itself at night? Remember they used to say like certain Africans who have beautiful cosmic black skin, beautiful uh, melanated skin, very deep, dark, melanated skin. Like they can close their eyes and literally be able to be invisible at night. So the black cat, so in it itself, it's amazing to me that this could be why that many brown people suffer from a lot of osteoporosis, a lot of weird health issues, because it isn't so much that they're not getting enough sun in the daytime, they aren't getting enough of that black sun at night. Okay, if you go in the Caribbean, you see this as well. In the daytime, big up to all my Caribbean people in here. Where's all my I, 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 <laughs> all my I, my island brethren? <laughs> Remember, so like even in um the Caribbean, like a lot of times when we're in the Caribbean, you'll see people they don't like to work in the day when it's hot because remember, if you're dark, you absorb all the heat from the sun. So you, it's very difficult for you to actually be able to walk out. Like I was out today. Some of you see all this gold in this, you know what I'm saying? I was out and I was just pulling all that sun in and the sun was attracted. The light was attracted to the melanin. So it pulls in more. So it makes you hotter. So usually people in the Caribbean like to work when it's a little later because it's cooler and their skin isn't pulling in all the light. And for that person who called me prejudiced for saying there was uh, brown people are reminiscent of, of heat, of light beings, walk into a room with a whole bunch of brown people and you'll see the whole room heat up. When you, listen, some of you don't know that because you've never been in a room with a whole bunch of brown people. Walk in a room with a whole bunch of brown people. The room heats up because we emit heat late it's 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 a um we emit we actually the melanin emits heat so when you have a whole bunch of brown people in a collective it gets hotter it's a fact most people don't know this and they think you're lying because they've never been in a room with a whole bunch of brown people maybe one or two but if you've ever been in a room with a whole bunch of brown people the whole room heats up we know this because you go to a brown church it's hot in that piece and it ain't the holy spirit it's all that melanin up in the god's house you know what i'm saying in jesus's house <laughs> here we go I was in, listen, I went to my ex's uh, cousin's uh, wedding and the, and, the, and the air conditioning broke and it wasn't, it wasn't really, it was like springtime. Listen, y'all, it was hot in that church. I was like, listen, I have beads of sweat coming off of my breasts, my face. I was like, yo, and we were like this. Oh. It's hot in there. So I'm just saying this all to say because I wanted to add that. So let's go into what's important about the gates. So the number one thing is when, with the movie Black Panther. Um, oh, okay. So also, male. <coughs> let me speak to males again. I forgot this. Um, just as a black... Okay, I did the Black Panther. Higher male people. Okay. The Black Sun. Men will only ascend through a higher consciousness of a woman that truly loves him and who he loves. That's what I was supposed to talk about before. I, this is part of the message. Where's the, did I just put it? Oh, this is part of this message. Men will only ascend through a higher consciousness of a woman that truly loves him and who he truly loves. That is why they're causing us to dislike each other. And it's not just men that you sleep with. It's your father, 
it's your son, it's your it's your nephew. It's men men are men are allowed to ascend through they have to be vetted through a conscious woman. So when a woman is conscious and she is she vets him because men aren't the double X. X marks the spot means women ascend. Women have the ability. If you came in this lifetime as a woman, you automatically have more of a capability of ascending, but you have to be conscious. It's a, it's, it's a couple of things you have to have with it. That's one of the criteria. But in order for a man to ascend and to make it out of here, he has to be vouched by a woman who he loves, who loves him. This is a whole thing with beauty of the beast. The whole thing with kissing the frog. This is that whole thing that happens. That whole concept that they threw at you that everybody just thought was a fairy tale was partially true. It meant that for us, that's why they disconnect us as men and women because they don't want that true love. And I'm talking about true love. Like the way that a mother and son love each other, that's true love. The way that a, a husband and wife truly love each other, that's love. The way that a father and daughter. So if you notice, they broke in all of the different arms of love between males and women they have and the only way that a man can ascend i'm going to say it again it's part of that message and it's one thousand percent men will only ascend through a higher through the higher consciousness of a woman that truly loves him and who he loves so it doesn't matter if she loves him if he doesn't love her he isn't able to ascend because it has to be equal it has to be a balanced so it can't just be like she's sweating him, she loves him and he doesn't feel no, it has to be balanced because that with that with that perfect cylindrical pattern of love, it literally vets that he is in qualification to ascend. And for a woman, she has to be conscious. So a woman isn't going to ascend. So it doesn't matter if she get it, it, it's great that a woman loves you, but if she isn't conscious, like she can love you because you buy her 40s. You know what I'm saying? You might you buy her weed. <laughs> Wait, wait, wait. Wait, you buy her weed and she loves you because you always getting, I don't know how they buy weed. Is it like a dime? Do they sell dimes? Remember back in the days they sell nickels and dimes? She bought, you buy her weed and you buy her 40. That's why she loves you. Come on now. It, that's what I'm saying. It has to be a conscious woman because she could love you because you provide for her those things that keep her lower in her ability to ascend. So that in itself wouldn't be a criteria that would even be. Co 45. Somebody said, who said Co 45? <laughs> Remember that thing, Boons? Who's from New York? You know that if you know what Boons are, you should be ashamed like I am. Do you know what Boons is? If you know what Boons is, y'all need to, y'all need to pray to Jesus. <laughs> Boons. Remember that? And what was the other 40? Boons and something else. I'm sorry. <laughs> Who drinks some? Listen, I know a guy who drinks, uh, what's that stuff, sweet tea? Was it, no, it's not sweet tea, it's um, naughty tea? What's that tea called? What's that tea they call? Is it naughty tea? What's that tea they all drink? That, <laughs> I said boons. <laughs> it's something tea. What's that tea they all drink now? It's some tea they drink. Some kind of crazy tea that they drink. It's naughty tea, something like that. Wine coolers. If he if he's buying you wine coolers and weed, <laughs> that ain't real love. <laughs> that's love. But you know what I'm saying? That's not conscious love. That isn't con twisted, twisted tea. That's it. How y'all know what twisted? How y'all know what twisted tea is? How y'all know what twisted tea is? Don't let me find out y'all sipping on the act tonight. You probably drinking some twisted tea. Listen to me right now. You need to revoke. You need to rebuke the twisted tea and go straight over to the heavenliness of a green smoothie like Yoga Tom. You need to rebuke it. <laughs> In the Lord Jesus name, rebuke it. Anyway, so y'all, okay. Let me go to the message because I'll be here all night. Hold on. My mom wants to watch Telemundo. Y'all... Big up to all the Latinos in the house. Who's from Mexico? Yo, my mother's having me watch this this show. It's a show from Mexico, and it's like a, it's called the Surrogate. Um, it's called Madres uh, Madres of something, right? Like, Y'all watching it? My my mom's watching it, and she likes she likes it. Yeah, my mom's a she's she's such a sweetheart, but she's a she's a matrix mom. Anyway, all right, <laughs> okay. So Mad Dog, who said Mad Dog? Who's drinking Mad Dog? Y'all drinking Mad Dog on a Friday? 
You better drink it. Well, you better have your last drink because Fed now is now taking over. So that might be the last. That might be the last mad dog you have. You may not be able to drink on the yacht tomorrow because they taking over all your money right now. Willy Wonka is watching all your pennies as we speak. All right, please uh, put a like on the video. Let me put a little lip gloss on my lips, y'all, because I'm looking a little. Come on in. Okay. Y'all good? You want to take a break a little bit? Let me sit up. Oh, let me sit up a little bit. Okay. okay. We good? We gonna? Am I doing all right? I'm trying to say. Please put a like on the video if you have for the shenanigans. You coming in the house? We coming? We going in? Okay. So are we ready? So don't. If you drinking on the yak, this should be the last night because now you gotta be vouched. So some of you sun stars need to. You need to get get right. <laughs> Stop buying her marijuanas. Okay. Stop chiefing. Because y'all chiefing right now. I know y'all chiefing right now. Don't play games with me. I already know. All right? <laughs> okay. All right. So let's get into... Hold on. Oh, my God. I've got so many notes. Here. I don't even know if... I'm not like Brother Panic could do some long lectures. I'm not like brother of uh, uh, Phil Valentine because they, they're long-winded. I am on Zoom, but I am not the best, best organizer. Okay. Hold on. I lost my place. Okay. So let's get in. All right, so we have men ascend through the higher consciousness of woman that truly loves him. And, and all, like I said, I, princess and the frog, the whole thing with beauty and the beast, it has to be true love. So it has to be love that isn't based in shallowness. And, and like she can't, you love her because she got a big butt and she rides you like a stallion. That's not appropriate. You love her because so if she don't ride you like a stallion, you don't love her anymore. If she don't got a big butt, you're not going to like her. You know what I'm saying? If she if she doesn't do certain things, do you understand? So it has to be legitimate. It has to be just a natural. It has to be love. It's like love, like some of you who've been married a long time, it's like it's a love that doesn't require for anything else but um just a just a healthy like I love you and I and I want you to be well and I and I and I you know I encourage it and I do things in alignment to you know reciprocate that kind of healthiness that allows you you know so it's a very unconditional love absolutely and and it does happen like i said they're demonizing men and women's relationships even with fathers and daughters so i really feel like it's very <laughs> who's drinking tequila wait nubian you said you drink nubian dna you drinking tequila <laughs> y'all off the hook um it has to be a very natural form of love so i think you know mother and child it really helps so when a mother has a son sometimes it's 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 easier to initiate that beauty and i almost feel like women who've had hardship with their fathers or maybe a father that wasn't there the universe actually remedies you and giving you a beautiful baby boy to allow you to heal some of the wounds that were initiated with your father so you know some of you are i met the most magical women that are um, in love with their sons, you know, <laughs> Nubia is laughing, um, who are in love with their sons and their sons love their mother. So I think in itself, that's beautiful. And you, mom, you are his qualifying initiator into the higher realms. And I, and I love that, you know, I, I just, I think that's beautiful. Okay. So, um, okay. So we're going to go into that. So let's start into the water, black Panther fighting in the water. Um, the Water King Killed the Queen, Vilified Water. Shark Attacks, Movies Like Jaws, Resurfacing, That's to Vilify the Water. Whales Attacking, Propaganda for Fearing the Water. Um, religious Persecution of Marine Spirits in Africa. So many of you don't know. If you get a chance tonight and you're not sipping on the act too, because if you're sipping on the act, you're going to be asleep after this. But if you're not sipping on the act, you know, Coke 45, tequila, whatever you, boons, whatever y'all drinking, um, <clears throat> get a chance to watch some of these Google marine spirits in Africa, like Africa, and you'll see all of these demonization videos with priest, preachers and deacons, I call it deacons, right, in Africa that are basically exercising the marine spirits out of people and demonizing it. That's purposefully done. Now, I thought it was a joke. Big up to uh, Kendra, who was from, um, you know, um, uh, uh, Goddess Suites, who I was on the show a couple of years ago. Many of you know I was on Goddess Suites. She was the one who actually introduced me to this whole African um, diaspora religious sector that was literally making a whole big thing about marine spirits like literally so if you ever get a chance it's real funny i hate to laugh at it but 
it's just comical. They basically are telling people, oh, I'm de I'm exercising the marine spirits. You're going to your marine husband and wife in the waterways. They're basically making them demonize those in the water. And it's inter interesting in Africa, in certain places in Africa, they are discouraging people to go into the water. So to me, that is a perfect way to de dis, uh, to debilitate people from having access to these water portals when we're about to go through a shift or the reset when these portals actually open. Um, also, with a lot of brown people, they have basically used the concept like the um, the uh, the KGB who said that they took about 10 to 20 years, well, I think it's more of that, two to three generations, to basically put that in the cellular memory for a lot of brown people to have a fear of water. So that in itself, I always told you, many of you saw me in my bathing suit in the pool last time saying you need to make right with water. I would really say to anyone here, water is the way in and out. And when we have water within, we need to be healthy and happy and in kinship with water outside of us. Like the reason why some of the times, like even with the whole Kukarachis thing, like many, uh, especially me, like uh, coming in the States and you know, you'll see it with me, I blow it up and it's all water. Like I collect water and, and it's the water protects my organs. So even with all of this electromagnetic frequencies that they're trying to attack me with these bastards and I rebuke them, when they attack me with them, my body will bulk up with water. Many of you think I eat a lot, I don't. I fast a lot and I don't eat a lot. So I get a lot, I bulk up when I'm being attacked with frequencies as a way to protect my organs. So my organs become more, my body becomes more water-like in order to protect myself. And then when I leave and go somewhere where I'm not getting those attacks, that's why in Brazil you see me a lot thinner because I kind of like shed the water because it's unnecessary for protection, okay? So that's part of it as well. Um, also with, uh, so they demonize the, uh, yeah, brown people. They, they go into your cellular, they basically mess with your cellular memory banks and fear of water. Moses, Isis parts the water, Beetlejuice, C, C, C red. Okay. So the whole thing with Beetlejuice is interesting. And I got to get that to panic because I knew about Beetlejuice, but he basically brought it in is that literally it's the red kachina is Beetlejuice. And when it does its implosion, it causes these frequencies to hit. That's probably when a lot of these gates are going to open. When we see that red in the sky, the red kachina, which the Hopi speak about. Okay. And when that happens, you literally going to have the ability to walk in front. I know I'm one of the people that will be walking my people through like Moses, you know, but rather I'm Fleurun, okay? So I will be bringing the people through through the waterways. I know that my sector will be coming. I know there will be others doing the same and some doing it solo. You don't have to do it in a group because this is all a self, you know, self, you know, initiated um, part of your, your you, you exiting. Okay, so um, biological violation puts more time. Okay. So biological violation, violating your matrix contract puts more time on your book, your Akashic books. So when you, when you viol violate your body, when you do harm to your body, that's why I always tell you, listen, I'm not, I, I, I always say this, like I'm speaking from the audience. We have to love ourselves. The way that I chose to come in, the way that you chose to come in is perfect. You chose and initiated this perfect form to take in certain codes and to be able to work and navigate through this socially engineerable matrix. So everything about you is perfect because you chose it. That was your biological contract previous to you incarnating here. And when you violate your matrix contract, you're putting more time on your Akashic records, on your books. It's prism. So when you go in, it's like a prisoner in a thing. Like he's got, what, 10 years? He's doing a bid, right? And he's going out there, he's puffing up his chest, and then he gets in a fight or he starts doing things to cause strife to others. They're going to put more time on his books. If you're down here and you're violating your contract, you are going to put more time on your books. The point is, is that this is reset. If you are, listen, one thing I know is there isn't anybody doing anything diabolical like right now, unless they aren't ascending. If you're actually engaged in really horrendous, then you're here for, you here for the shenanigans, the next cycle. And then you're going to go through it until you get to this point again, where you have an opportunity to leave through the firmament or leave through the plasma rather. Okay. So blood, you know, biological violation, violating your contract. 
Um, most phone numbers on movies that you see on television is 555. 555 means change. That's one of the initiating numbers for me. Five. That's why you saw the five guys going below. You're going to see all these things related to five. Five is also the Hamza hand. It represents the different energies, the different elemental, um, this, the, the uh, different di directions, um, the, the different frequencies and elements. But five is pinnacle and it means change. And when you see the Nazis and they have the SS, that's five, five. That's a 55, okay? So the Nazis, as much as they're demonized, you got to look at the sea willow that they had. They were worshiping the black sun. They were, master, um, they were masters at um, occultism, like occultism to the point where they were basically putting things on them that protected them. They had the sea willow that represented the separation of the swastika. When you put the swastika together, then you have the sea willows together and that makes a swastika, okay? And that's a dial, okay? And then also, they also had this SS, which basically is the 55, which meant represented change. And sea willow in itself, like, oh, I got the sea willow right now, okay? The sea willow, can you see it? Okay. Can you see the sea willow? Can you see it? Hold on. I don't know if you can see it. Can you see it? I'll show you. That's a sea willow. It looks like a bell. Yeah, it looks like a, a lightning bell. Remember Harry Potter? What did he have on his forehead, y'all? What did Harry Potter have on his forehead? You can't see it? I'm sorry. What did he have on his forehead? Let's see if anybody knows. Remember what he had on his forehead? That's right. He had a sea willow, okay? The same thing, the lightning bolt, which represents the, the, the black sun, okay? The black sun, okay? So, um, oh, here's my paper. Alrighty, I'm gonna get through this message. Y'all are up for the shenanigans? I hope so. This is the longest. I'm staying on task. I go off on, on tangents, but I'll stay on task. So you had the sea willow. Okay, Beetlejuice was ushered in into the realm of the wormholes. So if you watch the movie Beetlejuice, remember at the end, it was a worm that took him out, right? So in it itself, remember, he represented the underworld and we're living in the underworld. This is the upside down world, kind of like what you think... Um, the whole thing with um, the the uh, what is it? What is it? Um, that show that everyone watches. I just watched it too. Remember that show with eleven? It's eleven as a portal, right? Eleven is the gate. It's the two pillars. What's that show where eleven's in it? Um, oh, Stranger Things. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, thank you, my love. Stranger Things. Okay, so we're living in an upside world. We're living with the dead. These Skeksis are, the, Levin is, she is the gateway. Notice she was the initiator of everything that happened. She went through the portal. She was able to go into the water, basically go in and do uh, remote viewing. She was actually the pillars. She represented the ability to utilize the, uh, her, she was a portal. She was, the way she, she interacted, she was like a portal, okay? So she represented that. Um, Okay, pterodome. So we're living in a pterodome. And let me just say this for everybody. I'm so sorry that they're spraying formaldehyde all over people. I told you about the Red Dawn and the whole thing with orange, Agent Orange. They're spraying everyone. This is a pterodome, y'all. They're basically, um, they're, ter they're terraforming the globe, prepping for um, reset. So they're spraying all everybody, okay? They aren't living on the surface anymore. They've all let, listen, y'all. I know this with certainty. There isn't any of these bastards living on the surface of the planet being sprayed on. Once they all left and went into their hiding places, then they started to put all of these major, um, they started to put all these major um, sprays all over and started to uh, place all of these um, spray and, and terraform everything. 
okay so everywhere now there's spring and also the sparkle event i was going to make another video regarding the sparkle event but i'll talk about it now can someone mark the time right now so you can put that for people who want to know about the sparkle event because i never know where it is in the video so someone mark the time now because i'm going to talk about the sparkle event um everyone should be mindful this is my emergency uh thing big up to the zombies we were up until like 8 a.m what was it 5 to 8 a.m less last zoom um we talked about the sparkle event remember i talked about the sparkle event before relating to all the nanotech and this was like eight years ago and it you know came to fruition right no five what was it like five 2008 into 2018 okay um when i did my first nano fast but there is a diabolicalness and th thank you y'all put it so listen y'all the, the, they are now demonizing and making sure that no one has independent fireworks. The Shinwa are doing something diabolical, y'all. They are putting something. They are going to do the major um, dissemination. Remember, they did the first with the. If they're giving the the first of their concoction, their mad scientist concoction of spraying things in the sky, and the activator is going to be with their own fireworks that is going to spew this spark it's called a, it's this type of gas out to activate what they've been spraying on everybody all this time and that's why they've demonized uh private uh fireworks people and they're demonizing it because they want everyone to get the fireworks that the shinwa created I, I think it's the shinwa i don't know that for a fact so this is one of the things i don't know it's them doing it but i do know that it's willy wonka doing it so they want everyone to get fireworks from walmart which they personally put this stuff in and they want people to go over to these fireworks so i would just this is my opinion and me and the zombies know about this because we talk about this all night because you know we're up all night is that they're trying to make sure you don't get those independent fireworks from those other people they want you to get it from walmart and them because they put those activators in there and then basically um we found out that the stuff they're putting in there is like a bug like a bug, um, it's like a bug for mouth, like a, a type of bug activator that basically will start to activate whatever gases they're doing on everyone now. So all I'm saying is that just be mindful. I know many of you enjoy, I love, you know, listen, I grew up in the States. I grew up doing barbecues on 4th of July. I would just say with the babies, mommies, daddies, abuelas, cousins, big sisters, try to refrain from touching any of the fireworks this year i would just refrain from um oh they come from shinwa terry do all do the fireworks actually come from shinwa i would refrain from what we talked about with the zombies we figured out it's probably an activation for whatever agent orange was so remember we talked about it probably show up afterwards stranger things kind of so yeah so just put it out there y'all i keep the babies i would and also i want to say sorry to everyone who's losing their dogs because part of this chemical terror dome this terror terraforming that they're doing is killing the animals um over 80 dogs died in ohio randomly i'm so sorry for anyone who's lost um their animal family friends um they're killing animals with this agent orange um concoction it's got formaldehyde in it um people are testing the air it's got formaldehyde it has a host of other types of chemicals i told you just be careful now they're spraying it everywhere um the cats are getting sick um there's a couple cats that literally were having seizures um i just say this everyone keep if you have your dogs your cats, I would even bring them in. If you have animals, make sure they have a cover over them. Just, I just wouldn't trust what's out here. I'm so sorry for the dogs. I'm That makes me really sad because in it itself, it's not fair. It's not right what's going on with the animals. Um, so I would just, for everyone, just for, you know, this is for entertainment purposes only. I, I'm probably mentally ill, I'm giving false information. I'm a liar, you know, because YouTube tells me all the time. But I'm just saying I would just keep them in at this time. And Project Orange in the activation as the Sparkle event will begin um, July 4th with fireworks. And from one of the C-Stars said they started fireworks already. So, you know, if your neighbors got fireworks out, those expelling fibers that come out, it's going to be that gases. It's, I think it may even be a neurotoxin, just my opinion. So I would just be careful with that. Cover your gardens, very good, cover your gardens. I would just be careful around this time, okay? So um, we're talking about the arrival that comes in August, okay? And um, the Dogons are talking about the Nomos Gate because what happens is when the ocean gates open, also the Dogon gates open. That's 
the Dogon actually are the beings coming, um, the Dogon gates are the beings that actually witness the gates opening and the Nomos gates coming in, there are beings that are coming in um, once those gates open. Um, the Nomos were more like fish like humans and they live in water, but they're very, many people don't realize like even when we have a concept of the mermaids, they're not as romanticized and beautiful as they detail. And I mean, in the way that we, we shallow, we're shallow in the way we perceive, they look a lot like, um, that's why when you see the old movies, they always demon, oh, they demonize all the, like the creature from the black lagoon. That is what some of these, um, underwater, um, creatures look like. They don't look like the romanticized fixture that you think. Um, the males tend to look like the ones with scales on the back of their heads, like fins. And if you watch for, um, what is that movie? Uh, the color of water, the shape of water, the shape of water. That's more of what, how some of the mermen look. The mermen look more like the, they have fins on the top of their heads like this, like that. I don't know if any of you saw the shape of water. Um, the shape of water is very important for you to see. So if you get a chance, that's kind of like how some of the beings look like in the waterways. And, <clears throat> okay, um, spaces below. So the skull and bones require one to compromise. Okay, so this is part of the deal, y'all. Um, part of the message is the skull and bones, the Willy Wonkas, the Satanists, the um the uh what are they called the loose no the the um zionist whatever you call them the the demons they they're right now they're going to make you compromise because you aren't able to leave through the firmament if you're compromised so skull and bones require one compromise to your biological directives to put one to put more time on your books to ensure you can't leave so remember I talked about some of the things that they do is try to um, initiate you to compromise yourself by killing someone or doing something wrong or being cruel. So they require you to compromise biological directives. So if you're changing your sex, if you're mutilizing, mutilating your body, um, it puts more time on your books. So it ensures that you stay here. So part of the reason why it's necessary for you to stay as organic and healthy and mindset, body and spirit is to make sure you aren't compromising your biological directives. Once you violate that, it you aren't able to leave, at least with ascension, you just wanna maybe survive the pole shift because the ascension part happens before the actual reset. That happens before. So before it's like even what the religious people call the, the, um, the, uh, the, um, the what do they call it, the rapture? They call it the rapture. So that's also why they gave everybody the Kukurachi shot because they wanted everyone to be compromised. So they wanted everyone to compromise themselves so that they weren't able, because in and of itself, the Kukurachi shot is a low jack. That it was meant to low jack you here. And then what happens also, unfortunately, because these bastards are so nar diabolical and psychopathic, they knew that even if someone had the ability and the criteria and the qualifications to leave, if they had a loved one who was tethered here, this is the thing with attachments. People are attached to those who, um, the, that basically who have compromised their biological directives. So unfortunately, most people who may have even qualified for it won't want to leave and end up won't leaving because they want to stay with the ones. So that's when they know you got you because they got you on all ends. Because even if you didn't get the Kukurachi shot, your son did, your daughter did, your 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 husband did, your wife did, your, your someone you love, your friends did. So that's how they got you. They didn't need to get you per se, but they didn't want you to be able to leave. So they made sure that they tethered you to people that are compromised so they can't leave. What mother's going to leave when her child is still here? What, what, father, what husband is going to leave when his wife got the shot? I'm just saying, like, if you keep it real, I'm saying I'm because it would have to be true love. What, what husband would leave without his wife and children? So that in itself is why they did that. So they wanted you to, con um, to compromise yourself. Um, and part of those compromising is also you got to watch your bodies. So the spleen represents the chakra and the second major uh, chakras. Hold on. I'm jumping ahead of the gun. Hold on.
Okay, the nomos are not just, let me go back to the water beings. The nomos are not just one being. They represent the whales, the dolphins. They're interrelated, like kin, to the dolphins and the whales. Remember, they're more like amphibious type beings, okay? So that's why you're seeing all of the whales and sharks acting on the command of those from the underwater kingdoms because they all connected to those water kingdoms, uh, those water worlds. Um, their home, the nomas are a race of beings that take the physical forms of dolphins, whales, and mermaids and mermen. So not all the time are they only in mermaids. The nomos also take form in dolphins and whales as well. Their home planet, their home world is Sirius star system and most, mostly a warm aqua blue um, water. Many of the nomos walk upright. They are known for their highly advanced use of sound. So many of you know with the nomos, um, you know, a lot of times back in the days, a lot of brown women, you'll see the cage over their mouth. Um, you'll only see this with mostly brown women. Um, look at some of the old, you know, so-called archives that you could see. You'll see brown women. I showed you an image on some of my videos where they actually have a cage over her mouth because the sounds that come out of her mouth are what they, what you, what has been denoted as siren sounds. And she's able to um, break glass, she can break your eardrums. So what they do automatically is, is they seal their mouths. It's amazing to me that people didn't notice that in the Black Panthers, when they had the beautiful Mayans that were in the waterways, that they showed you with these masks on their mouths to breathe water while they walked on land. But that was actually cap. That was a mockery to what they do to them when they do come out. They put things on their mouths. So it, in and it itself, they showed you that those beings, I don't know if anyone saw the, the Black Panthers and the Mayans who represent the water, the water beings, and they would come out of the water to battle and they had these water masks on. But that was also to basically show in your face it's, it's disgusting. That's how you know they're maniacs. Um, they're basically showing you that, but meanwhile in itself, that's what they put on them to keep them quiet and mask their sounds. Because once they come out of water, they can literally break. They can bas basically make you go blind. They can make you go blind. They make you where you lose your hearing, your brain shatters. Like they have that ability. And they that's their protection. Just like every an animal or a man animal has it, that's what they did. And, and in that movie, I found it very interesting that they were mocking the very thing that they do. So I think it's, um, just remember that. Um, the Nomos play an important role in Earth's evolution. Right now, they are the guardians and guides, okay? Of the portion of the etheric Syrians who are in dolphin and whale bodies, okay? That's why when you see images of the mermaids, they're always swimming. If they do a relocation or they're nomadic, they move with the whales and the dolphins and sink. Like they'll have the babies. And also in the movie Avatar, the concept of the whale being her sister, that is a concept and connection to the nomos. Saying that, oh, I get, I get so sad when I think, oh. That movie was, you see how they subliminally put awful things in there? They hurt the whales and the whales were connected to the avatar, the water avatars. And when she hurt, remember the one of the avatar women, she said that was her sister and she was so excited and then he killed her because that is a representation of the nomos and the mermaids. They're, they're in sync, that's family to them. So when they killed the whale and her son died, it was represented to the kinship between those two. So they're, they're connected and they're from the same. Um, homeworld. When Earth ascends, the etheric Syrians will take over the guardians of their planet. So what happens is that those in aquatic form will have the chance to change. So what happens, y'all, is right now, part of this message is that right now, some of you are returning to your aquatic bodies. You want to turn, turn this upside down. Some of you are some of you are returning to your aquatic bodies right now. So if you are starting to feel like Right here would be where your gills are here. Um, thyroid is very connected to that. You need to have iodine. I talked about the providine, putting it on your thyroid. You want to protect this because this is what literally is connected to your gills. Um, that is connected to that. It's very important. Remember, it also another disrespect to the mermaids is when they show that Ariel's voice was taken away from her. That is also talking about your 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 um your thyroid, saying that if she came out of the water, she would lose the ability to have um her 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 um her 
she would def she would have a deficit of her ability to protect herself, which is her siren ability to speak, and also it would atrophy her um, thyroid, which many people have issues with the thyroid because when she goes out of the water, the iodine which she naturally has plentiful in the ocean, she wouldn't have access to that. Okay, like seaweed, sea moss, iodine, all those wonderful things. Okay, so that was a mockery to that. Um, they're returning. Okay. So right now, many of you are turning to your aquatic bodies and there are, listen, many women are interconnected to the aquatic beings. Ma a matter of fact, I would think all organic beings mostly have more aquatic. That's why when we're enter womb, the baby looks like a tadpole, like a frog, like a nomos, because that's part of our genetic melding. That's who we were in those stages before we changed. So right now we'll be changing back into our water bodies and that's also where they'll create all these virus these diseases that they'll just make up um a thyroid they want to take out your thyroid they want to take out your spleen your gallbladder those are things will compromise you being able to access the waterways again so it's amazing to me that they took out everyone's like they were making a trend to take out people's appendix they were taking which affects your spleen they were making a point and our C-Star shared this with me. Thank you so much, Erica, for sharing. Thank you so much for sharing your story with us. Is Erica shared the fact that they had taken her gallbladder. I hope that was okay, Erica, if that's okay. Um, but, but talking, she was one of a few who had that taken out. I'll show your tonsils, which are interconnected with your thyroid here. So they purposefully created these ways to disallow you from having access to the waterways again, because they knew that certain beings, especially if you were connected to the water and meaning that you had mer dna meaning that you had the aquatic dna in you they knew it so they automatically tried to uh to uh take cripple you from having access uh to the waterways and i'll talk about that as well because when you talk about the banjo people um uh, many of you know the banjo people are traditionally nomadic and they're seafaring and they survive by collecting shellfish from on the seafloor, scientists studying the effects of lifestyle and their bi uh, biology found their spleens were larger when they were going and swimming into deeper waters, right? So the bigger spleen makes oxygen available in their blood for diving, okay? Um, the spleen, and when we talk about the spleen, we don't just talk about it and its functionality in a biological sense. We talk about how it's connected to the chakra. The spleen chakra is the second of the seven major chakras located in the lower abdominal between the root and solar plexus chakra. The spleen chakra is the energy center that focuses on, listen y'all, these bastards know we cannot trust them with your bodies. The spleen chakra is the energy center that focuses on creation, intimacy, and enjoyment. It affects the reproduction organs and dig digestive tract. Did you know that? Did you know how powerful your spleen was? Your spleen, again, chakra, is the energy center that focuses on creativity, intimacy, and enjoyment. My gosh, these bastards know how important it was and it affects your reproduction organs. So anything that compromises your, sp your spleen messes with your ability to be intimate, have a healthy intimacy, and your creativity is in your enjoyment. And I'm sure all these, these geoengineered foods are attacking the spleen. The these wonderful um, bajos, which are in Southeast um, Asia, they utilize, okay? At a spiritual level, it acts as a communication center and all the energies that are generated through exercises aimed at expanding con wait, 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 no, nope. hold on. Okay. Sorry. All right. So let me stay on my pages. Y'all, I hope you're okay. If you up for the shenanigans, you're okay. We're going to get into this. I'm sorry. I've got to get together. Okay. Hold on y'all. Okay. Okay. I'm going to talk about the Okay, yes, it, it acts as a communication center and all of the energy that is generated through exercises aimed at expanding consciousness such as meditation passing through it. Therefore, on a physical plane, the spleen is responsible for increasing our defenses and on a spiritual level, it pro provides us with protection, confidence, and security. Should I say it for those in the back of the room again? Let me repeat it again. At... 
At a spiritual level, it acts as a communication center and all the energy that is generated through exercises aimed at expanding consciousness, such as meditation, and it passes through. Therefore, on a physical plane, the, sp the spleen, the spleen is responsible for increasing our defenses on a spiritual level. It provides us with protection, confidence, and security. So when they attack, our, when they attack things that basically compromise our spleen, it makes us spiritual, spiritually um, um, vulnerable. They don't teach you that, do they? And they make sure they know this because they're master cultists. They're doing all of these spells on the food, y'all. And basically, they're they're basically debilitating your ability to, to be able to protect yourself. Okay? So if my if one's spleen is affected, it if someone's spleen is affected, it warns them that they have that they have had an experience which is felt. Okay, so these are the things that compromise the spleen that affects your ability to experience things it's if they feel stabbed or assaulted in the back um it makes them feel stabbed or assaulted in the back when their spleen is compromised so it makes it feel like that makes them vulnerable for being double stabbed you know like um what is it uh like when people attack you like they they assault you from the back like they they blindside you so when your spleen is compromised it makes you a bill it makes you vulnerable for being assaulted from the behind without knowing Okay, if you're a trusting, secure, loyal, friendly person, and suddenly you feel betrayed by someone that would that would you would have never imagined, brother, sister, mo father, mother, friend, it can feel like someone's stabbing you in the back. In the same way, the discomfort in the spleen shows that there is fear, and maybe regarding um, uh, losing blood, bleeding, menstruation, symbolic losing their family. Okay, so these are things you can look up. I, I found it very interesting as I'm finding the things that are necessary for us to go back into the waterways, the things that they are compromising with the human body as we're going forward, because this is part of the message. Let me give a shout out to the sea star again, again, if you didn't hear, it was uh, um, talking to the ancestors, Dean, who basically asked me to transpire how she knew I had these messages. She's magical. I got to give her a shout out because she's the reason that I was able via through uh, Rod Hayes transcribe these messages from the Nomos. So uh, let me keep going. Um, so the gallbladder, uh, <clears throat> let me go into the pancreas. Wait, 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 wait. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, so the, the gallbladder, balanced, when it's balanced, it acts as the anchor that provides a safe space to make clear and concise decisions that resonate with your soul. Did you hear me, y'all? Your gallbladder. So these bastards will tell you, oh, we'll do things. And they give you things to medications and all of these things to hurt your body. And they know what each of these organs do energetically and how they impede or, or they're protecting you. So what they'll do is they'll give foods or create foods that compromise or medication that compromise the ability to protect yourself. So then in itself, we have the gallbladder. The gallbladder acts as an anchor that provides a safe space to make clear and concise decisions that resonate with your soul. On a soul level, if you feel safe enough to make sound decisions, you probably feel safe enough to trust yourself. But when your unfulfilled desires get energetically transferred from the liver to the gallbladder, it will show up as procrastination and hesitation. Suddenly, the courage and bravery we felt to make sound decisions turns into fear and potential choices you might make. Do you see how important the gallbladder is? Do you see? And the Chinese, the same ones who are doing these things, that's what I'm saying. Be careful of the enemies that you have that you don't even know you have. Because remember, when they have access to your food and you are buying things from a people who know metaphysically what things do to you energetically as well, biologically, you will be compromised. So in Chinese, the gallbladder, to them, it is a yang organ and yang fu organs are said to be hollow substance that can pass through the yin organs are solid well the gallbladder is hollow but contains a yin, yin substance such as bile in this way it is an atypical yang organ 
regularly secreting this yin substance into a digestive system, specifically into the small intestines. Um, so literal translations of classical Chinese are difficult to peg down. The language, I'm sorry, hold on. They, okay, so the Chinese, it, it is certainly conceived, the classic Chinese thought is, it's understood that how important the gallbladder was. What I was just saying, I, sorry, I, they just put a lot of funks, they have a, they know what the gallbladder is. So the Chinese are really revered the gallbladder, okay? Um, let's go into the appendix. The appendix represents, in people, the appendix is symbolic as in reserve pantry. We usually put money, sweets, affection, and recognition. Let me say it again to those in the back. In, in appendix is symbolic. In the reserve, pantry, it's like what we reserve. We usually put money, sweets, affection, and recognition. In children, we have much to do with their money to buy them things. The, organ main, the organ's main function is to store food. That's your appendix. For biology, the appendix is a reservoir, a pantry where we can store what we can easily lose or spend. So it's a reservoir. It keeps things that are for, for, for extra for later. It is necessary to have a reserve meal in case we need it in an emergency, okay? The appendix, the very thing that they were taking out of people, which makes them feel security because they're reserves. It, it has to do with your reserves. Hold on. The entire day... Hold on. The entire digestive tract helps with our immune system, but some scientists and doctors think the appendix may be a place for our body to source certain healthy types of gut bacteria and otherwise be altered or changing during intestinal illness or overuses of antibiotics. So y'all, when you use a lot of antibiotics, it really compromises your ability to store things properly. And again, if they take out something very important like an appendix, a gallbladder, a uh, um, gallbladder, or they compromise your spleen, they know how it affects you energetically. Uh, I can't read. I have so much stuff for you to read, y'all. <laughs> I took so much notes. Okay, does anyone have... Hold on, y'all. I, I know I've got you overwhelmed. Is everyone okay? Let me take a drink of water since we're here for a while. Is everyone okay? Information okay? Let me know if I'm going off on a tangent. Let me know if I should back up. Everyone's good? <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna get some water, put some likes on the video if you like the shenanigans today. The message was really on time. And like I said, I really appreciate, um, you know, I said, uh, uh, wonderful uh, Walking with the Ancestors, which is a channel, Dean. Uh, she she actually, she's amazing, amazing. She doesn't even realize how, I think she knows, but she doesn't realize how on point she was telling me to access that I got. And also she was on point knowing something that she couldn't have possibly known. So shout out to her, because the reason why you're getting this message is definitely um, being initiated by um, her having me go back into the archives and retrieve this message and trans and transcribe it. Okay, so where do we go? Also, we have to talk about the gates. When I talk about the the um, the Golden Gate, the, also the Golden Gate is referenced when I was talking about the Golden Gate before. Remember I said it was red? It's interesting that the Golden Gate is really associated with the Winter Gate, the Winter Solstice. So, okay. so you see here, this is the golden gate. It's associated with the winter solstice, right? So this is the time that they always talk about when we're going to go and do our pole shift or, or usually they talk about Christmas is at this time. It's a very ritualistic time. And the 21st is where, you know, they always talk about this is a big time where, um, you know, we're talking about doing our, um, <clears throat> our 
exodus, right? During that time, the 21st. So in and itself, the golden gate, that personally is, and this is me making my guesstimation, that's when we leave. That's when the gates open. But what's interesting about that is got to be careful because everything is flipped. So when you talk about the poles, when you look at this, you know, you look at this, where this is sitting. So the golden gate is like right under Sagittarius. Oddly enough, I'm a Sag and it's right underneath it, right? Okay. This is when your ability to leave is through the Golden Gate. These gates are located opposite sides of the galactic equator where the Milky Way crosses the elliptic. The Golden Gate, now listen, y'all, you can't make this up. The Golden Gate is five degrees. What do we talk about the fives? What do they tell you about the fives, y'all? They talk about the fives. What do we do? We got the five star, the five pointed star, which is a pentacle pentagram, also the star of David. And also, what did they tell you? The golden gate is at five degrees. Okay, there's that five again. Remember, interesting that the Nazis worshipped the SS, but the SS is also a five, y'all. Okay. All right. So the silver gate is a galactic anti set. So at the five gate is my opposite equal. The five gate, the golden gate is at five degrees Gemini near the galactic center in Sagittarius. The silver gate is a galactic anti center. Interesting. Listen to this, y'all. The silver gate is the anti, is the gate, is at the galactic anti set center, five degrees Sagittarius above the hand of Orion. In ancient times, the Mayan focused on the galactic center, which they called the heart. What do we say? Your heart is always weighed. The heart, the heart of the sky. On the other side of the planet, the Egyptians kept close eye and Orion. The eye, they always have the eye, right? Okay. So the silver gate is over here at the bottom, which is more connected to the summer solstice, which we just ended up, right, leaving. I have diagrams for y'all. Are you proud of me as a scatterbrain Sagittarius? Please, I need a little pat on my back because normally I don't print anything out, but I wanted to do my due diligence in giving you this information. And really in itself, you know, I can be all over the place. So I hope you're grateful that I gave you this. Now we're going to talk about the wormhole, okay? And of doth. Is it doth or is it death? Where did they get that word death? Remember, everything finet, fin, uh, fin, um, any any type of language or lingual hues that they give, a lot of times you gotta realize it comes from somewhere else, right? So when we talk about the wormhole, and remember there's there's references to the wormhole, the wormhole is like the black hole, right? You know, seated. But the wormhole of Darth, Doth, right? Doth. Okay, so it's interesting to me, Death and Doth sound very similar, right? And you know, it's, it's, it's the phonetics really mess with you sometimes too because they, they use the English language to basically utilize it for spells and sigils. But it's amazing to me that Doth and Dirt are the first time I've ever heard of Doth, isn't it? So the wormhole of Doth. So in the course of the study, we come across pieces of information. Okay, wait, wait, wait. Um, hold on. So the wormhole of Darth, hold on, I've got this. Uh, hold on, I gotta get my paperwork right, hold on. Okay. Okay, so it says the wormhole of, of Darth. In the course of the study, we have across various pieces of information which add together to indicate the possibility of a comet, asteroid, planetoid, plasma, with serious connections passing uncomfortably close to Earth around 2012 and 2013. Let's just run through the snippets. So um, they have different things like the Tara. We found that the Tara be directed associated with apocalypse, the revelation of St. John, 
at 217, the stars related to Sirius by court. Um, the book of Revelations, trumpets 2, 3, and 5 announced phenomenon that would accompany close by of a large satellite, planetoid earthquakes, floods, meteorites, showers, dust blocking, sunlight. Let me, y'all, listen, the book of Revelations. I, we're, we're all you Christians out here because you usually call me a scarlet. Christians, I forgive you. Remember? I, I forgive you. But this is your thing. Let, let me show you real quick, okay? This is what the book of Revelation says. Okay, okay it says, I, I, we got to go on this. The book of Revelations, trumpets 2, 3, and 5 announce. Remember the people were hearing trumpets in the sky, y'all? All over, right? Could that be the very trumpet? It's not the trumpet. It's the mechanics in this god darn firmament, y'all. It's a firmament. It's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mechanical thing. So when you hear it, it's because it's coming to a halt because we're going through reset. This is an AI system planetoid prison, y'all. So it has like these mechanics. So when you start hearing the slowing down of the, horn, the trumpets, that's just the mechanics. But this is what they say in Revelations, right? It says, um, two, three, and five announced phenomenon that would accompany the close bypassing of a large satellite, planetoid, air, earthquakes, floods, meteorite showers, dust blocking sunlight. When did we see that? New York, Chicago, Connecticut, Jersey. Where do we see the dust blocking the sunlight, y'all? And moonlight, large meteors, thunder, and lightning. Mummies and the rapture. We found Egyptian connections in the tarot along with Christian ones. Connections between the two religions, especially as regards to resurrection and judgment to the present. Okay? All right. Um, okay, we're going to go into qualities of those who are uh, related. I, I could go on and on. I have so many notes, y'all. I'm trying to give you everything. I want to make sure I give you all of the trans. A lot of this is all basically me transcribing the message and giving you longer extensions to what the message means. So um, we're going to go into bone density in a minute. Did I go into dog on? Okay, these are more of the... Okay. The 14, which is another five, we're going to go into the wormhole of the Darth. I didn't give it to you. So the wormhole of the Darth is number 14, right? And what is number 14 equal? One plus five is what? I mean, one plus four is what? Five. Okay? So the wormhole of the Darth. Since discovered that they discovered Nibiru would have to be traveling and possibly fast to cover the distance between Earth and Sirius and back in 36, 3,600 years, which I don't believe. I believe we get, go through reset like every 200, 400 years, something like that. I searched Grant's material for clues. They found Uranus is connected to Doth. The 11th and secret Sephira of the tree of life, which leads to the paths beneath the tree. Okay. Hold on. Fi is, Fi is eating her baby and she's shaking my thing. Okay. Okay. Not her baby, but you know, like her toy. Okay. So let me read that again. I'm sorry. So this is the wormhole, wormhole of Darth, Doth, Doth. Okay. They found that Uranus is connected to Doth. Okay. Um, and it is the gate in the other universe. Yog, connected to Uranus, is the gate through the aeons, 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 A-E-O-N-S, to the star source beyond Yugath. Pluto, Marduk, a Babylonian god associated by Stitchin with Nibiru, is implicated in the form of Megor Maduk, the last gate, who resides at the Pylons of the abyss. Pylons? Is it pylons? P-Y-L-O-N-S. Pylons or pylons of the abyss. Suggested the possibility that the planet known as Nibiru, Marduk, Persephone, Patris, or and Isis may have originated in the Sirius system and that it might travel from the system to Sirius back through space by pass or wormhole 
which exists somewhere near Uranus or between Uranus and Pluto. Okay. I thought that was interesting. Please uh, pay attention. I would do your own personal research. I kind of just got, got snippets of it. And I'm sure many of you, because you're all masterful and great, great scholars and information, just go further into the wormhole of Doth. You probably can transcribe it so much better than I. Okay. So I'm really interested in your, um, your being able to uh, share some of those gems as well. Okay. So let's go back into some of the physiological things going on with people who are now changing back into mermaids and going into the waterways, y'all. Oh, wait, I have a diagram for you. Because it talks about going under the tree of life, right? And you always see the tree of the, this is the Kabbalah, Kabbalah, Kabbalah is the tree of life. Okay. Can you guys see that? Okay. This is the, uh, the Kabbalistic tree of life. Um, and it kind of goes into the different symbols, which I love, uh, and I would break this down. I don't, I don't think we're going to do that today. It talks about the tower, the emperor, the sun, the judgment, um, the moon, the worldwide. You should really get this and kind of transcribe this. We'll probably do this on the next um, Zoom. On next Zoom, I'll be back uh, Zoom on Thursday. Uh, Zoom will probably go over this, the Kabbalistic uh, Tree of Life. We'll break this down because this has a lot to do with us accessing the gate, the water gate. Okay. Okay, yeah, we'll go over this because this is in itself is a gem in itself. This is a lot of fun and we'll do some high. So everyone from Zoom, big up to the Zoombies. Zoombies, if you could print this out and we'll work with this on Thursday. Can you guys see it okay? okay. And anybody who joins us on Thursday, we'll go over this. So if you get any gems, I mean, it's got the, it's got the lovers. It's got all of the, you know, the cards, you know, in a deck, but it's got the hermit the death, the justice, and it's all interconnected. You see how it's interconnected, especially with um, how it, how the meridians touch. The devil, the hermit, the, uh, the tower, the sun, the emperor, the moon, and then judgment. And in judgment, y'all, it has the double X, y'all. That's why I said, sun stars, the only way you getting in and out of this joint, how you got in is how you get out, sun stars. You, gotta, you, go, you came in through the, the waters of our wombs, a female's womb, a biological female's womb, and that's the way you get out. So in and itself, um, when you talk about judgment, judgment has the double X, which is basically the female. That's why I say you have to get qualified by a female. Okay? That's judgment. You know, I never noticed that until I printed this out, and I was like, wow. It's the X, the XS is a female, is a biological female. It's everything that they're trying to demonize and trying to shape shift and trying to, you know, uh, you know, basically try to take over. But you ain't, you ain't, if you ain't a true female and you know what I mean, I told you I'm a, I'm a trans duck. No, I was a trans, well, I'm a trans duck, but I kind of felt like it wasn't so exciting as a bird, even though I didn't need a passport, but you know, I'm going to be something next week. Okay. All right, let's get into the qualifications of you being a mer, y'all, because a lot of you are having some of these things. Some of you already have these things. Um, did I print out two of these? I hope not. I don't like wasting paper. Okay. The Babylonian God, you know, the ba okay, I already discussed that. All right, y'all, I'm not gonna hold you too much. You know, it's the first time I'm doing this a long win, okay? So, uh, Where is the information here? Okay, that's that. Oh, I'll read this too, okay. Uh, 
that. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm just looking for the page. Oh, okay. I found it. All right. Okay. Some of the things that we're talking about in relation to being connected, I'm going to read this as well. If I was a professor, I'd be a messy professor. You know the professor that comes in with like papers all over the place? I must, I must, I'd be all messy. <laughs> I have my paperwork together. I just have to get them, you know, in order. Okay. So we talk about bone density. Historically, analysis shows that high bone density is an aquatic specialization that provides static buoyancy control. Buoyancy is the ability to, you know, float. Okay. Uh, blast for animals living in shallow water, like low, be low bone density is associated with dynamic buoyancy control of animals living in deeper water. Okay. So the higher your peak bone mass, the more bone you have in the bank and the less likely you are to develop osteoporosis and age. So what's interesting is that I know that they've been working on melanated women because melanated women supposedly, supposedly have the highest rate of osteoporosis, but how could that be when brown women who will come from both brown parents. If you're mixed, it, it, it shows up different. So if a woman is born from a lunar mother, she won't have a heavier bone mass. But, to, but melanated women that come from both melanated parents, um, they have a higher bone peak mass. Um, and it's interesting that they say that women of color, that's how I know the foods that they're creating are basically compromising your bone mass. Because how could women who have, because I have, um, large bone mass, like I have heavier bone mass. That's why brown women will weigh more and they will look similar to women of other complexions because they have heavier bone mass. That's a fact. It's not racism. It's not supremacy. It's facts. <laughs> oh, Fleurbrun is saying a good thing about a brown person again. She's a supremacist. Can't say any, if I was twerking, going on uh, OnlyFans, uh, speaking like I couldn't speak English, then you would think I'm a good representation of brownness, wouldn't you, right? You would think I was a good Negro, wouldn't you? You'd be like, that's a good Negro. She's being all diabolical. I don't have to worry about her because she's so ignorant that she's not going to make it past go. Sorry, so sorry for you. I actually am somewhat conscious and I know myself, okay? So, yes. Having heavier bone mass is generally connected to brown women, okay? That's why brown women will weigh more, and when you go to the doctor, you could weigh like basically 140 and they call you obese, but then you could look like a, a, a lunar woman who looks uh, relatively thinner than you, I mean, heavier than you. Wait, wait, wait. You look thinner than a woman who's looks seemingly heavier that's lunar but really in itself it's because you're heavier than her only because you have higher bone mass okay so women of color this is a fact how they compromise this and and women of color are getting the high i think they're lying about it i don't know you would have to give me that i haven't done the studies on that so i don't want to lie to you about that but i would have to i haven't gratefully met any women of color that ever had osteoporosis but you would have to share that fact with me because i don't know i haven't done enough studies but i know for a fact how is that possible unless they're doing things to compromise them through food medication or something okay um the Am aminote vertebrates that transitioned from land to sea bone mass typically increases and later decreases as active swimming evolves. So what happens, y'all, is when an aminote vertebrates type of that transition from land to sea, the bone mass typically increases and later decreases as active swimming evolves. So what happens is a lot of swimming will eventually lower the, the bone mass because to go into deeper waters, it was eventually lower. Um, a new study has found that heavy bones re-evolved in some fossil marine animals, suggesting that this trajectory can be reversed. 
So it in itself, for us to transverse into the water, our bone density starts to change and shift. And if you're closer to the shorelines, the water people, or water beings, you generally will have a heavier bone mass. As you go further out into deeper waters, it will start to decrease and it would come lighter. That's why you'll see that people in the Caribbean who swim a lot generally tend to look a lot leaner after time, or at least bone mass wise, they become leaner because the bone mass becomes, especially the deep side, you know, the deep diving, because you would need to lean out, the, the bone mass would be, have to be leaner to go deeper into the oceans. At least that's my understanding, okay? Okay. Um, there are three car okay so then we talk about that then we're talking about the por uh, porosity now remember it's an interesting thing because it's my daughters had mentioned porosity one time and it shocked me i was like how do you know about hair porosity well mommy we saw a video about hair textures and the porosity of hair um and um that different hair floats like they did experiment i was like wow they made you do this in school no we just saw it on they saw it on like a tutorial so um i think we discussed this before having uh low porosity hair also denotes that you most likely came from somewhere where there was a lot of water and a lot or you were in the water why is because the lower porosity hair means that you have waterproof hair and why else would you have waterproof hair unless you were living somewhere where there was a lot of water how is it that brown people suppose a brown people negroes who have coily hair negroidian hair why is it that you have low porosity hair if you and these are the people that generally stay away from the water that doesn't make sense even in itself it says that if you have low porosity and i don't think all brown people with coily hair it's low porosity but i think if it's tight and coiled it's most likely low porosity so the lower the porosity in hair so there are three degrees of hair porosity including high medium and low low porosity hair has very tight cuticles so that it doesn't absorb what water oh fleur brood you're racist you're talking about low porosity hair oh my god what are you saying low porosity hair is waterproof hair why would you have waterproof hair if you didn't live somewhere where there was water a lot why would a beaver have waterproof hair if they didn't live somewhere where they were accessing or going in the water a lot so that in itself lets you know that in fact the cuticle layer is so tight that the water molecules cannot penetrate into the hair shaft that means that low porosity hair is practically resistant to moisture dun, 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 dun. No, 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 no. Okay. All right. Okay. That's waterproof hair. So if the Little Mermaid was a real factual story, she would have had dreadlocks, tangled hair, tangled nappy hair. I don't know why they call it nappy. Because it's really not taking a nap. It's like live wires, actually. It's actually live. You see how they call it nap? Hair that's coily and so-called nappy is, max, is like a live wire. Why do they call it nap? You see how they shape shift everything? They make it seem like it's the opposite than what it really is. It's crazy. This is why you don't listen to maniacs in, in regards to yourself. Why would you take a description from Skeksis? Because you know they're Skeksis. They're not even from this home world. They don't even come from here. And you let them directly talk about what what who you are do you know what i'm saying do i need to keep going can you put a like in the video if you are for the shenanigans today <laughs> naps nappy hair coily hair kinky hair is what wait what is it waterproof so what does that mean y'all so anyone who has really coily curly hair y'all came from water worlds because how the heck would you have waterproof hair and you didn't come from nowhere with water? So all you have curly hair, don't let nobody talk about your coils. 
You know what I'm saying? You come from the water world. Be like, you know what? I told you I come from the jungle. I was in the water. All right. <laughs> Many marine animals have an outer coat, coat that is waterproof. Okay. Reptile skin is watertight. Meaning they do not get soggy and water does not penetrate, penetrate their scales. Reptile skin is a solid sheet of keratin scales. Keratin is the same substance that makes up the human nails that makes the reptile skin waterproof and prevents the reptile's internal fluids from evaporating. So why when you call people dark skin with ashy skin saying they need to put more lotion, but every time they put lotion on, their skin basically doesn't really want to take it in and they end up getting scales most of the time. They got to put so much moisture, they got to darn near beat their skin to get moisture in there. Could it be that they're from the water or somewhere where there's a lot of liquids? And that's not just brown people. I know lunars like that too. Y'all got scaly skin. Y'all are waterproof. And meanwhile, they've been telling you to get, um, get, um, get your lotion on. Demonizing you for being a, a, a lotionless. <laughs> you got tight curls and nappy hair, y'all. And you got some dry skin? Oh, God. You better return back to the water where you came from. With the New Orleans. Y'all better be, be back. You all be go get, get some of that water. Okay. Go into the water. Stop trying to be. Stop trying to. Uh, enzyma is probably a byproduct. Now, we got to be careful, though. Because remember, they've been giving people, you know, sugar plum shots. Okay. So you got to be careful with that too, because some people got it because they've been given stuff and it, it basically causes dehydration, okay? And it messes with their cells. But, but I'm just saying, y'all, there are people here who got waterproof hair, and I'm talking about the mermaids. They got heavy bone structures, density, coily, nappy, happy to be nappy hair that's been demonized. And then... And then they got skin that basically scales and they've been demonized because they water beings. How you like being on the surface with these animals and, and, and skexies, demonizing your, na your nature, knowing that very well you're supposed to be in the waterways with your people and you're about to return to it. Okay. All right, y'all. All right. No more notes. That is the message that I have transpired from uh, the request of the ancestors walking Dean. Thank you, Dean, for reminding me that I had a message in my phone. This is not all of it, though. This is the message that I've transcribed. I've extended it, though. I did, a, I did great with my notes, though, this time. First time I used all my notes. Um, and I talked about the sparkle events. Be mindful that Willy Wonka and its League of Doom are about to put an activator in the sky for the 4th of July. Remember, Independence Day. These bastards are all hiding underneath the ground, disseminating gases and terraforming the surface. Just, just like in War of the Worlds, you thought it was an alien doing it, but it was these bastards living underground, fake, fake pumping, all that kind of uh, dastardly thing. And... And they got a whole bunch of distraction for you. What does it matter if Cardi B's breaking up with her slut of a husband? What does it matter to you that billionaires decided to go in a coffin of dune and seal themselves below the thing so they can initiate Fed now? What does it have to do with you that you know um, that you have all of these characters on television psyopting your brain, making you believe that you hate yourself and hating men and women. Stop watching some of these YouTubers too, because that's part of the social engineering as well. Anything I tell you always vet out. Vet everything I say out. There's, I could be a clown off the street for all you know. Vet everything out. A lot of these people, like a, 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 a what's her name again? Um, the girl who talks about men all day, calling them trash bags. The guys who talk about women all day. Those are all controlled oppositions. They're here to make you hate men, women, and, and, and likewise. 
They all want you to just bend over, stick it in, have you doing all kinds of diabolical sexual acts against your nature, take it on more time on your Akashic records. So you gotta come back and do this joint over again with all these sociopaths, psychopaths, when they come from underneath the ground with them, with those, uh, um, those cabbage patch children, those incubator children that have no consciousness. That's why you're seeing all these bastards all over the place that have consciousness walking around acting like animals because they're part of the the the, um, the mud flood children, the the orphan trains that they're gonna fill up the cities and say that the, they built them. All them people living in Egypt, those are Egyptians. Those aren't Kemetians, Com Kemetans. They don't. They weren't. They didn't build those pyramids. They moved in after they were the the actual Nate uh, the ancient. Commissions were extracted. All those people living over it, over by those Mayan temples around them, those are not the Mayans. They were extracted. Those are the those are the mud flood children. Remember, they got two of everybody. So they basically are gonna rewrite history when they come from underneath the ground and they're gonna reintroduce each of these beings into these cities and they're gonna geoengineer their minds because they're already mind control and just tell them that they built those places. Any high being that has achieved a level of consciousness and awareness and love is extracted out of here, right at reset, right before reset. So all these so-called um, artificial beings living in Egypt, Egypt is not, that's not the name of the beings that when it was existing, it was called ancient Kemet. And Kemet means the land of the black. So how are you going to have a problem with, with blackness unless you were there that and you know they're not the people because they keep digging up the mummies who would you let somebody dig up your grandmother I, that's why i say to people use your critical thinking because a lot of the egyptians say oh i'm insulted why would you be insulted if you were insulted you wouldn't let people dig up your grandmother if that was really your grandmother that isn't your grandmother because you are a byproduct of colonization gentrification and you probably come from the incubated children that are reintroduced into these areas and given a a, a, a you know a script of and 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 mental and socially engineered to think that you were actually there for generations. Okay. So I'm, I'm saying, so we're going through reset y'all. The post shift is on a pop in check out Maverick. He's talking about the 40% shifting that we already did. We're already there. You're seeing all of this craziness already. They're terror, they're terraforming the entire planet, like in war of the world, spraying this joint with all this red kind of foam agent aren't all over the place. And then they're going to put the activator on 4th of July. Okay, and watch these uh, in independent maturing candidates that are being triggered um, through your Willy Wonka military system that has a little uh, base of people who all took the Kukarachi shot and all they do is push it and then they start going out here shooting at children, killing off babies and all kinds of great. I'm a liar. I'm, I'm, I'm dangerous. I'm sorry. I'm, 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 I'm under mental um, you know, help. I'm going to go meditate. Don't believe me. I'm a liar. I, this is a joke. This is comedy. Okay. Okay. I'm just saying. So just be mindful of the maturing candidates because they activating these suckers left and right. And they all got all kinds of nanoparticulates in them dancing around like this. They're boggling in their body like this. <laughs> this, wait, this is the nano in their body, y'all. <laughs> Remember the bogle? <laughs> bogle. Yo, they're doing it. So I'm just saying, so for anyone, <laughs> Ooh, they dancing in their body and then they get triggered and then you wonder why they, they turn from like apples to oranges in 2.5 seconds. Run, Craig, run. So anyway, y'all, I hope this was a great video. Again, I just, I had such a ball today, you know, really in itself. I hope this was uh, helpful. Um, I took a lot of notes today. I really appreciate, like I said, I, I really want you to really start to, uh, you know, as much as I joke around, I really took the time to really um, delve into transcribing that information for you um, for entertainment purposes only, right? Um, oh, the invisible. Thank you for reminding me, you remembered. Okay, this is the biggest news. Breaking news. Mark this time so you remember it, so you can tell people. Because breaking news, y'all. The reason why those lights work so well, the UV lights work so well, is because the Chinois are using invisible um, cloaking devices on a suit. 
um, they are using it. That's how they're able to get the children and people are and snatching people. They are using them and that's how they're going to do their fake mock evasion. So they're using invisible suits to put on and the only way you can see them is with the UV lights. We found this out and this is a breaking news. So they're using invisible suit technology. This is not a lie. You can research it. This is how they're able to get in people's houses without them knowing it, the invisible man. So I say, watch your doors, watch your wife, watch everything. Try not to leave doors open. Keep things in front of your doors. This is how they're going to get into people's homes and harm them. Also with children, this is also something I want you to pay attention. This is why the children are getting snatched because they can't see who's snatching them. Pay attention, tell your children to pay attention to how they feel rather than what they see. The whole thing with bird box, it's not what you see, it's what you feel. They have to know the difference. And also there's trap doors on people's lawns. Moms, pay attention, we all have to pay attention. If your little ones are playing outside, they put trap doors that look like grass on people's lawns and outside. And also in hotel rooms, there's little trap doors in the hotel rooms and they're using things to open up your door. So everyone who's traveling, I want you to be safe and pay attention. They're putting stuff on the doorknob as well wear plastic gloves watch put the uv lights if you got the flashlight go around your room like this hold on oh i got the other thing <laughs> you always think i'm a geek when i have this i travel with this hold on this is my headlights you used you used to see me like this in brazil right this is it you put this sucker on my batteries are out of it maybe i have my batteries on too Hold on, y'all. I didn't charge my batteries. Okay, that's the wrong one. Okay, I'll get another one. <laughs> this is another one. Okay, close your eyes. You put this sucker around your room. Okay, no, you see that? Okay, you put this around your room. You check and see if anybody's around your room, okay? So if someone is cloaking themselves, you can use these lights, the UV lights, this is independent. You can put this in your car. If you go outside, there's flashlights like this. You can use this. You basically could check the room and sweep your room. I would suggest everybody sweep their room, go around and just sweep the perimeters of your room and your house because it's hard for them to cloak with this UV light. You can literally see them, okay? So it's gonna, can you see it? Okay. And that's also why they have those lights all over the place. Okay. So they're planning to get, that's how they're planning to come over and take everybody out is because you won't be able to see them. Tell the children, watch the babies. A lot of children were missing. Pay attention. Tell little children, watch children. If you see children, it doesn't mean you're the parent. Just everybody in here, please. I'm asking that you take a proactive stance in protecting the children. Make sure if you see little girls or little boys walking, you just keep an eye on them so that if each one of them, so at least if somebody tries to do something, we all are taking a proactive stance to protect all the children. These bastards are stockpiling. They're stockpiling children because they won't be able to be here. That's why all of the children are missing. And they're also taking different gene pools of people and things and animals and, and different species under the water because we're going through reset and they have to stay under the ground for like a thousand years because they won't be able to tolerate the surface. Okay, so um, that's it for y'all. Uh, th 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 that's all, folks. <laughs> so does anyone? Um, you can always join us. I'm gonna be back. I'm I'm a week off on Zoom. I will be back on Zoom on Thursday, where it's gonna be powerful because we're gonna go over some of these other messages, and we're gonna go over the Kabbalah Tree of Life. Um, we're gonna talk about some other things with the. It'll be post the activation which is the fourth. So if you want to join, you can always join us on Zoom. It's I'm always on usually Sundays, Tuesdays, and Thursdays. I took off a week. It's my little one's birthday. I'm celebrating her birthday. So we're, you know, we're out traveling, but I will be back Thursday, back on it, right on the case, up late, late night Zoombies. Okay. So if you want to ask any questions, do so. Um, I really appreciate everyone coming in and being so supportive. And thank you for all supporting me. I'm just really appreciative. You know, I've been on quite a long time. And like I said, uh, uh, you can get this on, uh, um, where did I get this from? It's, I do, I do. Okay. You can get this on, uh, uh, uh Amazon. <laughs> Took me a minute, Amazon. And this is cute because if you have your RV, I like this because you can, look, you can hang it up. See? See? You can hang it up like on a little thing. You know, I like to put this, if you want to put it in the car, so that, you know, if you have crazies, 
or so. So you can hang it like that. Okay, I'm not sponsoring it. They're not paying me. And then it has a regular light too. So it's not just that, okay? It's really cute. So this is nice, you know, you could just have it around. And it has a magnet too. So if you have a magnet on it. So it has different phases. So, you know, this is good to have if you're going camping, if you're going out. I don't know why my headlights aren't working. And I don't know why it ran out. It's kind of concerning, okay? Okay, this usually works. And I have a UV on my headlights that I usually wear. Okay, my Zoom is called, it's on Patreon, it's Fleurbrun. I don't know if anybody's on here. Everybody's enjoying themselves on Friday. Um, it's a, oh my, thank you, Creole China doll. Thank you, my love. Um, it's on my Patreon. I think I listed on here. Check out the description. My Patreon should be on there. I don't know. Sometimes I put it there and not, but join us on Thursday. Thank you for my little, I am my little one celebrating. So I'm in mommy mode. So I wanted to come and make sure I came to you. And like I said, thank you again to the channel. Her name is um, Dean. Uh, she is uh, called the ancestors are um, um, talking to the ancestors. She's amazing. Um, she was the one who had me, she told me it's important for me to transcribe the message I had. And I did so. Check out her channel. She's 1000%. She, she made some amazing connections and she didn't know and she actually does know so um i really appreciate her thank you so much thank you again i know brother panic doesn't know me personally i want to thank him for just you know um doing the work putting it out there and really um being being the being a person who isn't afraid to touch that um to touch that those barriers i just ordered a strip flashlight oh you got it Go ahead, Kelly. <laughs> Thank you, Kelly. Yeah, so, you know, be safe out there. Make sure, be proactive. And I, and I really want, because we have a lot of moms, or well as big sisters, I really want everyone to keep the baby safe. You know, everyone be proactive. And because that is not your child doesn't mean you shouldn't watch out for your child. Watch out for all children because they're doing it and they're snatching them and they're using invisible cloaking mechanisms. So you have to follow your gut. And in order, as much as you call me a fatty, one thing I say is I take really good care of my body. I eat well and I super hydrate. That's important to keep your gut because your gut is where you get all your information. It's not here. It's your gut. That's why they mess with our stomachs. You got to follow that and teach your children to follow their gut instinct because that could save their lives, including yourself. So pay attention. Okay. So y'all, I'm off. I'm going to go watch my mom's watching. My mom's going to make me watch this. Uh, I, it reminds me of Telemundo. Anyone, you know, <laughs> anyone Latino family in here? My mom is watching like a Telemundo. It's a Mexican show. It's called, um, uh, what's the English? It's uh, surrogacy. Surrogacy is the madre something. Madre something. It's a good show. She's making, she's, we're here doing something. So I'm going to watch a Mexican <laughs> show at my mom is so funny so they've got mind control going on in mexico too it's crazy if you ever it's it's crazy to watch that show i mean it's, it's very matrix but i'm gonna go watch that with my mommy did you see it yeah you saw it it's on yeah it reminds me of telemundo it's so dramatic it's it's off the chain thank you susu <laughs> watch it with my mom she's like are you gonna watch the rest of whatever tonight we, we could like binge watch it um i think they have it in english too so you guys watch it in english so yeah this is a uv light it comes in different lights it's not only uv it has uv on it and it'll call it a urine um it calls it a cat urine or animal urine light so it's this is the name y'all i can't can you see it e e o d i o d o o and this is really a camping light. I found it online on eBay, okay? Not eBay, um, Amazon, okay? So I'm going, y'all. I wanna thank everybody for coming here. I will see Zumbies, I will see you Thursday. Um, and hopefully, if I catch my flight back home. If not, I'll do my live from wherever I, wherever I am, okay? Outside the country. So I love you, wish you well. Be safe during these holidays, pay attention to things, and I shall catch up with you guys again for another YouTube coming soon. All right, peace.